Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. Welcome to the second semi-final of the European Community Clash. In glorious 64... Bi oh, wait, never mind. We have 16 of the top outfits from across the globe, 8 from the US, 8 from the EU, all battling out for exclusive in-game rewards, community acclaim, and a million dollars. One of those may be a lie. My name is Poison Owl, and right beside me is t volp 79 who finally showed up. Say hi. Hey guys, how's it going? Sorry I was away for a while, but I'm excited to be back with you here on beautiful Esmir. She's snowing, it's so pretty here for the quarterfinals. So uh, yeah, here on my left, we've got Mercenary S from Miller, represented by Rook. Welcome back, Rook. How are you uh, doing tonight? We're excited for the match and ready to go. Excellent. Uh, memory, many, many of our viewers will remember you guys, uh, your excellent, amazing performances from the preseason and uh, the earlier match against Indestructible Phoenix team. But for those tuning in for the first time, can you tell us a bit about yourself and uh, your outfit, what you like to do? Well, the Mercenaries is an outfit that has been in existence since the early days of Planetside 1. And many of our members you will see tonight actually have been playing with us since those days which is to say we are really known to each other's place, town know each other very well. And we proud ourselves of being a tight-knit team, which we show on the live server and hopefully in this competition as well, which we have so far and hope to continue tonight. Yeah, it all sounds good. Hey, um, so, you know, you got a bit of an advantage here, I think, because in the preseason you got to fight uh, 418 here on Esmir. Do you feel like some of that uh, pre earlier experience is going to help you guys out during this match? Um... Not so sure about that. Honestly, I almost forgot it was actually on this lane that we played Outfit 418. And, well, not to, to this Outfit 418, but if you remember, the match against them was fairly one-sided. So uh, I don't think there's really much we gained tactically from playing on this lane before. Yeah, fair enough. I think it was one of our first like real stomp out uh, kind of games for the Community Clash. I remember it very well. And uh, I'm wondering, have you caught up with uh, the previous game from Rebel Rifles? You know, kind of try to analyze their tactics and their gameplay style and see what you can do against them? Or are you just going to kind of play your normal uh, same old, same old and see how things go? I think it would be foolish of us if we didn't look at their previous matches. Because obviously I think it's fair to say that we are going into this match as the favorites and Rebel Rifles as kind of the underdogs. But that is not to say that we uh, don't take them seriously. Because... Like I said, that would be a foolish thing to do. And as we've seen in previous matches in Community Clash, the supposed underdogs can put up a damn good fight as well, which is what we fully expect Rebel Rifles to do. So yeah, we, we looked at what they do. I'll say we haven't specifically planned any special moves just for them right now, but uh, we did our part in preparation. And aside from that, we'll just do what we do best and hope it works out okay. Fair enough. I know that you guys will do an amazing job with lots of smoke, smoke, smoke. Um, yeah, anyhow. Uh, anything else that you going to close with before we head on over to those guys? Well, it's a bit cold out here, but I hope we can make it hot. Oh, spicy. Ooh. All right, boys. <laughs> completely just made that up, honestly. <laughs> okay, to my right we have Blue saying hi. Hello. I uh, take it uh, Charlie left you in charge because he was scared I might teabag him again. <laughs> You'd be so lucky if he was uh, on here, he'd probably sing you a song. Ooh, I'd love that. Of course, I know who you are. I uh, fight with you constantly on uh, Woman Every Day. And, uh, and every now and again, if I fancy playing NC Easy Mode, I even join your squads. But tell for those of the people at home who you are, where you're from, and what does your outfit do? Okay, so uh, my name's Darth Sebius. I'm one of the officers in uh, Rebel Rifles. We're an out uh, NC outfit on uh, the Woodman server. Um, Rebel Rifles are part of a gaming community called Easy Gaming. Um, we kind of play a lot of games, um, but we have a pretty strong community within, uh, within Planetside. So yeah, that's kind of us. Last time we saw you rocking the foundation, surely that's uh, boosted your morale. But uh, as uh, your opponents have said, apparently you're the underdog. So uh, how do you uh, fare your chances against the Miller boys? Yeah, I've heard that I could name uh, brought up a couple of times that we are the underdogs. But that's uh, that's all t that's totally okay with us. Um, you know, you got to give it to uh, mercenaries. They're a very very good outfit. Um, hmm. 
And I think, uh, yeah, we're going to give it all we can. Um, if that's enough, then that's enough. If it's not, then uh, we can take that on the chin. But we uh, we'll keep our heads held proud, uh, heads held high. We'll be very proud. Well, I say if, if last week is anything to go by, you cannot count anyone out. Uh, I hope to see you put up a really good fight. Of course, there's no pressure. It's just that if you lose, don't ever show your faces on Woodman again. Okay. Yeah, we uh, we have the server on our backs at the moment, so yeah. <laughs> yes, but the, you know, the, the server's been uh, real supportive. I've yeah, been getting tells on that, so good luck. So that's uh, that's nice to see. Oh, woman being nice and supportive. Very oh, so. um, the mother's put something in their drinks. Anyway, I hand it back over to to you, Volp. He can tell you the rules. All right, guys. If you want to head back to your teams, I'm just gonna head on through the rules for uh, all the viewers. So each match consists of two 45-minute halves. Each team has 24 players. Capturing a single point base awards the capturing team with two points. Capturing a three-point base awards the capturing team with three points. Capturing the opposing team's home base awards the capturing team with five points, and that ends the half. If each team at, oh, sorry, the team at the end of both halves with the most points wins, that's pretty obvious. And if the two teams uh, tie, then we go into a death match and decide the victor, which would be freaking awesome. I think that uh, actually we can, might for the first time have that. And then we think it's going to be a good uh, matchup between these two. What do you think, uh, Al? Yeah, well, I'd love to see that. Uh, see, now there's no uh, free point base in the center of the map. The scores are very, very uh, close, I reckon. Uh, so there's big no man's land in the middle of this lane, which most of the f fights happen. There's no, uh, what can I say? Uh, yeah, middle, center, neutral base. So anything can happen. It's, it, you can either meet in the middle or go for each other's bases. You can't do both at the same time, obviously. So it sh should be a really interesting fight. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Well, I'll uh, hand it off to you and click Enver. Yes. Well, thank you very much, uh, T. Volpin, Poison L, for that wonderful, wonderful hosting and the interesting interviews. My name is Klaika, and I'm going to be your caster today. And as the cameraman, and of course also casters with me, is Farah from Ineon Miller. Farah, say hello. Good evening, everybody. I am Farah. Nice to meet you all again. Yeah, really, uh, really glad that you joined me in the casting booth yet again, because last week you were uh, a little busy there. I was, I was a little detained. Cell. Playing little, with, like... with with some uh, good old fancy clowns. I, I saw you guys uh, building some snowmen over there, but it looked fine, and it turned out good for you. You won the contest, so... Uh, all, all's well, it ends well, I suppose. A victory's a victory. But uh, today we're looking forward to the uh, Mercenaries game and their uh, oppositions. Yeah, and as we all know, the Mercenaries do not build snowmen. They take their maxes and they crush them under their metal heels. Uh, so how do you think this is going to go? I mean, we've seen the Mercenaries uh, multiple times. We've seen Rebel Rifles multiple times. Uh, what what do you think is going to happen here? Because we all know Mercenaries, uh, the Wall of Steel, they know how they use their maxes and they smoke everything. They they smoke their opponents, they smoke their bases. It's like, very true. Smoke. But it, is, it has to be the right balance, like the trifecta of um, armor, air, and infantry. Uh, last week we showed that uh, I just the bounce slightly off it can have um, an impact and also by playing defensive such as Future Crew and Das Anfall, um, the bases are inherently easy to defend. Uh, the key thing that we mentioned and some discussion points was the lack of a safe and reliable Sundra position means that um, air, like a single lightning or a couple of lightnings or a single shredder liberator can pick off or a um, YOLOing engineer with uh, claymore mines or sorry, you know, anti-vehicle mines. So it needs to be defended, which means you have to defend your spawn and you don't have as many people in the cap point and the defending team, they can choose and pick their moment either to swarm you with infantry in the point or to mass up an air if you sacrifice pilots or players to get down on the ground. So we're definitely looking forward to see what Mercenary brings to the table today and see whether or not Rebel Rifles can live up to uh, what I believe potentially is a good match and see where it goes from there. Yeah, I, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, the tricks that Rebel Rifles must have up their sleeve to fight against the Mercenaries because... Uh... 
I mean, the mercenaries, they are just incredibly strong, and we've seen that. So Rebel Rifles will have to bring some ingenuity um, and maybe some, you know, awkward tactics to it, which I think we've seen, or, well, you rather experienced last week, uh, if you put on a good defense and, and do some, you know, out-of-the-way tactics there. You can uh, hold your own against a superior opponent quite well in one-on-one -on -one fights. So let's see how that turns out. Now, uh, I think we've got about 30 seconds before the match starts. Are we starts, not playing and... the lane video today at all? Oh, right! I, yes, of the, course. We, we have a lovely lane you... video, we have to I'm use sorry, it. sorry, we have it. Yeah, it's true. Freyce is gonna, is, he's, he's gonna kill us if we don't. Right, Ladies so... and gentlemen, of course, we're playing on the SME lane, and here's a little video. Right, and that was our Esmer lane attacking from the uh, south to the north. Uh, it's yeah, a good, uh, a uh, wonderful lane. Oh, there's a 30 second warning. So we're getting ready to go. Yep, and looking at the mercenaries here at Not Amp Station, playing TR, of course, as we said in the first half, I see pretty much all of them, all of the MCY, in front of the air terminal on Not Amp. So I expect an air clash. Which I think is kind of uh, traditional now for the Com Clash, isn't it? Like the well, Clash Well, Air's has an pretty air powerful, so we, we kind of expect that. And I'm, I think we're going to see potentially the same from uh, Rebel Rifles. I think there's been a play. Yep. There we go. Game is on. Game is on, and the Mossies are spawning, and we've got a single galaxy that is lifting off at uh, from the base. So if we're looking oh. at the Rebel Rifles here, we have the first galaxy going straight for their own... Uh, base probably racing in for the uh, vehicle bay perhaps or to re-equip or gear or something in the terminal yep. and what's interesting is that they've sent a couple of their members already on the uh, reverse to the uh, next base up along the line yeah geological survey actually yes. just had uh, yeah someone from rebel rifles drop on it they've and already been the they, so they just abandoned their two vehicles without choosing to fight the two mozzies by ah, sorry their two reavers against what seems to be a hail of mozzies from mercenaries now in comes the uh, Rebel Rifles Air Force of Reavers. Yep. I bring up At the, the same... map, you guys can see what's going on. At the same time, mercenaries bringing in two Sunderers to Geological Survey Camp. Galaxies are having a lovely little tussle. And also two Sky Guards on the bridge now that are helping out their Mossies in the air. So it's, MCY, you know, it's going Whale War, the sir. Arms. They're ramming each other. Oh, and the Mercenaries Galaxy goes down. He had a lot of support from his Reavers from behind. It's hard to see what's going on, although when we're looking at the minimap, the number of uh, Rebel Rifles aircraft are dropping quite oh, yeah, quickly. Definitely. The mercenaries now have uh, three Liberators up in the air and about four Mossies, five Mossies actually. So right now, um, seems like Rebel Rifles only has one Liberator and a Galaxy and like two or three Reavers. So MCY very clearly um, superior in the air here. I think it's just the higher lib count. Um, now the question is, what's going on on the ground? I mean, if we warp back very briefly to um, yeah. see what Rebel Rifles are doing. M MCY, MCY managed to resecure Geological Survey Camp, and they've actually got most of their forces right here with their Sunderers. So they've set yeah. up defensive Sunderers, and they're moving them up now, actually. <laughs> oh my god, it's the curse of the beginning of the game. Okay, I'm relaunching the client, guys. Oh, did it? Did the client crash? It it crashed. It, it it's exactly cool. Exactly. It's the just same like you in the previous game, right? Exactly. Well, we're getting back. You play internet radio, and we'll be right back with the visual images. Okay, so we've still got a MCY very, very much on top in the air game here. They've got like five Mossies up, they've got two Liberators, and they've uh, secured Geological Survey Camp, which I'm still a little weirded out by because they brought in two Sunderers, set them up at Geological Survey, brought in all of their ground forces to root out a single guy. Uh, so that cost them a lot of time, actually, and now they're hovering all of their air forces above Frostfall Overlook, bringing in their Sunderers from the east, 
And they're just kind of engaging from far away. Rebel Rifles brought the turrets at the base up, but those are not going to live very long. They're already getting shot at from the two uh, lib uh, Liberators and the Lightnings from MCY. But well, we're back, the and we're playing first-person mode now in the spawn room. Wonderful, the spawn room is always exciting to see, but uh, Rebel Rifles here are uh, definitely trying to hold up MCY. They're keeping the turrets repaired on Frostfall Overlook, and MCY has their Sundress very far away, actually. They're setting one up to the south at the southern building. They have another one to the northeast behind those rocks, which, when you think about it, is very, very far away, but allows them it's to keep it very secure. It's exposed. It's a single one, and I see it where we have. It has been marked up with Revel Rifles. They're aware that it's there. It's been covered by, looks like a Skyguard Lightning. Um, but the problem is it's exposed. Anything that's pulled along from the, the ground by Rebel Rifles or air that pulls along from the uh, Biolab will see it. Yep. Although... Then again, they do have a Lightning. MCY has a Lightning inside the base attacking Rebel Rifles infantry right sure. now. And I'm not seeing the Rebel Rifles putting up Well, they've got like their own capture point. Just yet. And that's a lot of Liberators, what we got. Maybe three Liberators from uh, Mercenaries um, flying around. Yes. Yes, and we've got three free liberators. Now, if we're going back to the Rebel Rifles uh, Biolab, they have... That's a fourth liberator from Mercenaries actually flying over the Biolab as I increase the speed on the Observer camera. So, they are just watching and waiting for any of um, Rebel Rifles to spawn from the Biolab, forcing them to come from the uh, warp gate. So, they have yep. air control and they're, they're dominating the spawn points as well. They've got themselves a galaxy back from the warp gate, flying over. This looks like... There's a lot of air presence, there's a little bit of ground presence, lightning perhaps protecting the Sundra, single Sundra though, because that's a bit of a weakness. What about the capture point? Have they got enough people on the ground to push it? Because at this point, if I was Rebel Rifles, I would try and push like an infantry up to the next base. Well, Mercenaries at this point is bringing in two TR galaxies that are just now charging together with some infantry into this point. Oh, yes, point, you see them now. Which is actually, yep, they've taken the point because the capture point was completely cleared because they had these Liberators fly incredibly close to the ground and just bomb the uh, Rebel Rifles infantry. A Pounder a Max, a couple of infantry, Engineer. Yep. Um, see and they also it. landed a galaxy on top of the double story building. Of course you do, why not? But it's that's exposed. Okay. Um, you could get it a flak max, to the spawn which they have right just there, yes. done. They got a flak max. Now this this is interesting because um, the air domination here is complete. We don't have a credible threat yet. I mean, if I was rebel, Re no. So okay, reinforcements of um, reavers. Their timer must have just ended. Has now come in, so they're now beginning to contest the air. If they can get in quickly enough. Uh, with enough numbers, they can get rid of the liberators over the space and allow their ground forces to get back to the capture point. So far, we don't see... How many infantry do you see on A-point for mercenaries at the moment? On A-point, there is a large amount. There's pretty much almost the entire Alpha squad is on A-point, and I'd only see a single Rebel Rifles guy drop-potting in, taking out a heavy, and then getting taken out by a medic. So... Well, uh, Rebel, like... The mercenaries have this base on lockdown right now. They've got the Sundra to the south, which is still there. They've... They don't have the Sundra to the north anymore. I think they moved that one up, or they actually lost it. Yeah, they mm. just lost it. They did just hack the vehicle terminal, though, and I think that infiltrator is going to pull a Sundra. Well, right now, from looking at the air point of view, it looks like Rebel Rifles' Alpha Group is scattered. Alpha Group is mostly air, with Bravo Group is mostly infantry on the ground. And to me, it looks like they're scattered. Rebel Rifles doing a max crash on the point. Three maxes in the double-story building, and they're getting ready to go to the point. Yep, we see that, moving in. Um, mercenaries have got their own Max countering, but he doesn't realize what's about to come on him. He's got four Maxes about to come around the corner. Yep. He does have an Maxes. Engineer backup, however. Well, but lots and lots of smoke, and since Maxes can't have night vision, that's The air domination for Mercenaries is gone, though, but they're trying to counter with smoke to prevent the sight from Rebel Rifles' Maxes. We see at least one of them going down. Uh, still got two. Problem is, Rebel Rifles Maxes, they don't have um, Engineer support. It doesn't look like they've got any form of yep. infantry support. They don't, but one of the Maxes just took down a TR Max on top of the roof. They've got uh, three Maxes to the south of the double story building, which is going to be, uh, which are currently being attacked by Liberators. Yeah, in but air. there's two minutes to go oh, now, and there's the plenty max. of infantry on the capture yeah. point. This doesn't look like an organized push, and now Rebel Rifles, nope. they have to now contend with. They've lost uh, temporary air control. They've, they've they did lost have it. their Maxes. And they've also now got fresh. Ooh, hello, Mosquito. They now have um, extra Sunders pulled up as well. They have two deploy Sunders now at the base. Yep. Uh, Rebel Rifles actually turn. lost three out of their four Maxes and their push got stuck in the building. They did not make it even to the capture point. 
at this, this point. This is getting pretty desperate time-wise now. With 90 seconds, you can make another one good push, but you don't have the time to get back, pull fresh air, or pull lots of ground vehicles. What would yep. kill this off quite happily is um, pulling a bunch of lightnings, maybe a mixture of Sky Guards and AP lightnings, and just picking off the Sunder spawns for uh, mercenaries. Very, very true, or just, you know, move up to that building in general and bomb it. At the same time, we have Rebel Rifles with three Burster Maxes in What's the spawn that room. What's that going to do? Now, yeah, 60 now seconds to go. They are now switching to uh, close combat, so they are going to do another Max Crush with those three Maxes. But 50 but of seconds, course, 50 bit. seconds, yep. I mean, the thing is, they've got, they're totally set up. Admittedly, that's a Lightning Skyguard for um, mercenaries, but they're set up. They've got a Lightning. He can block doors. I, I, and they've got air domination, and okay, so there's a Shredder Liberator being a nuisance on uh, their max. What's this max doing by himself? He's charging I don't know, out. That load, he's a oh wow, he just got max. picked off. So here he comes with the last burst. push. Here comes the push. Here comes the push. Here comes the push. Two maxes, just two maxes against. A Again, massive, he, the maxes are running ahead of our engineers. Nice grenade counterplay on the infantry, getting rid of the squishies. Uh, so, Mercies are doing this fine, but I think it's Rebel Rifles that. Maybe they're just not like um, using their numbers to their advantage, you know, playing all air or cleaning up the spawns as they need to. But Mercenary's doing a very good job at um, keeping the cap point. At no point yeah. did I feel that their spawns, however, their their sunders or what now were under threat. No, never. They have three uh, sunders up right now. They have two of them uh, to the east by the res grenades. Uh, ammo they have almost one the point. South. No, so this was a one attempt, one hack attempt, one capture. So so far we're one for one for mercenaries. Still, ah, oh, it's just enough. It was very desperate push, but it didn't look as yep. if um, Rebel Rifles were actually going to stop the hack. No, that first push where they got stuck in the double story building pretty much cost them the base because they, they were, up, uh, yeah, yeah, they were too slow. They were too slow getting out of that building, and then they got killed by the air, which uh, we're seeing you know, here is had enough time to move back in. Sure, Merc mercenaries max play is basically their maxes never leave their infantry support and they never leave their engineer support. Whereas yep. we see um, rebel rifles, were, their maxes were separating from their infantry or didn't have any infantry support by themselves, and. As a result, they suffered for it because they couldn't keep their heavy um, infantry essentially alive, that being the Maxes. So now, yep, that's very true. Now, uh, Mercenaries the... brings in the Sundra to the south right now for the uh, Ymir Eastern Way Station, and the Rebel Rifles are already going into defense position on the capture points. They have a single Max in there, they've got two or three other people, but apart from that, uh, mercenaries is bringing in uh, pretty much all their ground forces so right now from the south. So fresh air is being pulled from the biolab, but it's already been engaged by one mercenary's mosquito. Let's see whether or not his friends are going to back him up. Now the uh, liberators for um, mer uh, mercenaries is here. Now the problem with this, the outpost right outside the biolab, that's uh, Weimar Eastern Way Station, is so close to the biolab, you can have your air force dominating the skies above the outpost and controlling all the spawns from the biolab. And it's a general melee going in the skies. Yes, but we've got, a, so, we've got a small fight on the capture point right now, but Merc uh, Rebel Rifles is holding it with one max and multiple infantry on the point. Uh, mercenaries infantry very, very scattered right now. It actually seems like they have two or three infiltrators running around. Uh, they also lost their Sundra. The, um, the L-ship building, there's a number of infantry and max at the L-ship building. I wonder if they got a lift up here. Oh, actually, that's a good point. How did they that's get a, that's, There's actually only a few in there. They did lose their Sundra. They're down right. to their spawn beacon okay. now. So right now, uh, MCY does not actually have a proper spawn on this base. So Rebel Rifles can very handily defend that. Well, if we're looking at the map, it looks like the air has definitely been cleaned up by Rebel Rifles. But one of the things I've noticed differently is that when Mercenaries has air control, they have the ability to attack the ground. Whereas when Rebel Rifles have air control, I don't see much ground attacking. That's very true, and we only have a single Mossy right now for um, the mercenaries. They are, however, already at the air terminal on not amp, waiting to pull that back. But they're focusing all their efforts on the ground right now. They've got uh, three people from Bravo Squad, three people from Alpha Squad att attacking point A right now. And it doesn't seem that the Rebel Rifles have the amount of people in there they need to defend it. So we've actually, yep, they've got a, a single lot of dead there. people here. There's no yep. medics. They're losing that point. Rebel Rifles just that one Max is holding them all at bay, but it's only a matter of time till he gets picked off without any support. Although that was well, an I mean, NC res grenade right there. I mean, even if he doesn't, even if he doesn't get picked off, uh, you know, he can't really he help can't the see capture now. point. He's in smoke. Yeah, he also can't see. But yeah, all of the mercenaries except for one person right now is dead, and uh, Rebel Rifles are bringing in people. But uh, mercenaries, uh, you know, they've still got one or two people fighting here. Uh, we see got at an least one. 
Yeah, we see at least one uh, mercenary's beacon, and we see at least one lightning. Oh, then they have a sunder set up now outside the main uh, kind of entrance. So they're coming in reinforcements, couple of maxes, yeah, couple of infantry south. from the south. Yes, uh, on the ground for rebel rifles, they're having their own sunder push and lightning push. I'm not sure if they're aware. No, there's. I don't think they're aware of the positioning of the mercenaries' vehicles. Otherwise, I'd turn my armor column around. Okay, so okay yeah. we're getting into a big infantry fight at Ymir Eastern Way Station right now. Mercenaries with their uh, Maxis and their infantry group have just arrived with the Pond A, and Rebel Rifles are putting down a strong defense. Lots and lots of smoke going down now from the mercenaries, of course, because they are the smoke. Hero here. Medic going for the heavy assault. They're just outside now, the uh, mercenaries' uh, armor has been, uh, sorry, vehicles have been picked off by a Shredder Liberator. Yeah, they lost it. They only have one Thundra lightning. left to the south. They're resetting it up. But they did manage to take the point. They drove Reaver it's true. out of the... But uh, it, that doesn't matter in, in the grand scheme of things. What's important is that in the four minutes that you have is to use your advantage to pick off all the spawns, pick off the outside spawns, and then you can whittle away at the capture point and resecure the capture point. And that's exactly what Reaver is doing there. The last yeah. Thunderer for MCY just exploded at this time. So now um, Rebel Rifles have to, with the fact that there's no respawns, they need to now come in with force and take away the A point. Alternatively, Rocket Breaker Prods for... Um, Reavers or a Dalton or a Zephyr on the Liberator just to pound away the doorways because the capture point at Weimar Eastern Way Station is one of the most exposed uh, with regards to being attacked by enemy air. Although that being it said, is Merc's air is back. Yeah. Here comes the Merc's air bringing the galaxy they lose immediately and they have uh, two Liberators and a Mossy up in the sky now taking care of the uh, Rebel Rifles Liberator. Ah, he's but down, the yeah. Rebel Rifles, they are they are regrouping in their spawn room, they're bringing in the Maxis and everything. They just need to do a coordinated push which I think they're not really doing right now. They've got like four people together but the others are a bit too split up so uh, Mercenaries now holding count. in the point. Mercenaries has eight people in the capture point room, including two Maxis. So Rebel Ref is going to have a very, very hard time of getting in here. Well, they need the, to uh, they need conk run. grenades or AV grenades. They can't just walk in without any prior uh, explosives. So, uh, yeah, so that, I mean that that attack was totally deflected. I, I can see. For in the Air Force, Mercenaries has a slight edge because you're seeing consistently when there's a, a fight on fight, Mercenaries generally comes out on top. Uh, yep. Rebel Rifles got the advantage when they came out with the fresh pull and surprise Mercs, but then Mercs came back and redominated. And in terms of who has control in the skies longest, it's Mercenaries. But also, yep. in the ground play, it's 50 50. It's, it's fairly even now. Whoever picks the other guy's person off. But in the infantry play, we see that. You know, Mercenaries, um, they have better control with their maxes, perhaps better use of smoke. But whenever it's an infantry squad on squad fight, mercenaries come out on top with virtually everyone alive. Yeah, and it seems that mercenaries also always seems to know when the counter push from rebel rifles is going to happen because the moment rebel rifles pushed out of that spawn room, well, there's lots they of had sensor beacons or, or... They, well, not just that they had two liberators above their heads that were just raining down on them with a zephyr and with a uh, with a um, shredder. So but Bravo now, uh, is now spawning so from the wants to get rid of adjacent teleport building. They're running the long way around towards the capture point. They're heading to the L building, past Zale's landed mosquito. Hi Zale. Uh, he always shoots me down on Miller. It's very frustrating. Good pilot. Okay, so now L building. Bravo squad's moving in. What's Alpha squad doing for Rebel Rifles? We can't tell at the moment. So Bravo's moved himself into L building. They've only got 60 seconds now. Double squad beacons on the cap point. Four mercenaries. Yeah, here so, come the Reavers flying oh, are very they, low. Oh, they just into bumped each, each other. other. Were they rocket pods? I think they were. They they were. They did take out the two Liberators for MCY first. Enough. There's not very many... I mean, Rebel Rifles are taking the incredible long way around. This would work if you had Alpha Squad attacking from the other side, so you could, like, pincer move her. But all that Mercenaries need to do is, oh, you're over here, well, we're just going to turn around and yep. kill you over here now. At okay. the same time, Rebel Rifles is bringing in multiple uh, Lightnings. They're actually bringing in two Lightnings from the Northwest, taking care of one of the uh, MCY Lightnings. But the problem is those actually, those Lightnings can't help with the actual yeah. fight. Because they're all the way down there, and the base is all the way up there, so... One, uh, that entire maneuver, as we're looking at the minimap on the uh, this outpost, they, they came in from the teleporter building, they ran all the way around, all around the L building, to the capture point, as long as you could possibly go to the point, and then one person made it into the building. Just one. Uh, this is the absolute last desperate run, but, I mean, mercenaries are all over there, so they're not just staying inside the bit, the capture point, they're outside, yep. they're picking off, and they're staying together as a tight-knit team. 
and it's a lot of mercenaries here. There's, so there's... you can already see you can already see mercenaries running to the jumping the jump pad, and there we go. And they're all going to get on that jump pad and jump on the bio lab because they have a lot of their forces actually. Actually, they're uh... going for the teleporter building. Oh, they are going for the teleporter. Yeah, yeah they were all running for for the jump pad. Yep, they're going for the teleporter. See, the interesting thing is here is mercenaries has decided with vehicles we don't need vehicles. Once we got enough people in the point, we can't lose, and it's only a four minute cap. And aircraft, they value aircraft, but at the end of the day, it's not more than about seven to eight, maybe nine people at most is what we can tell after the initial air battle so I got the feeling about 14 to 15 uh, mercenaries are playing infantry here and that's more than rebel rifles because rebel rifles are split 12 and 12 so yeah, much more rebel rifles are playing with 12 infantry or 12 guys versus 14 or 15 from mercenaries and and that's one of the reasons why potentially they're losing a big problem here is also that mercenaries is just, as we know, very, very good at leapfrogging. And just now, when they took the base, yeah, they, just flipped they the already the had point. they already had four people inside the bio lab while Weaver was, uh, you know, still spawning in here. So they moved most of their infantry forces at a later spawn uh, via the teleporter, while the uh, infiltrators yeah, have already taken two the, out of three points. They've, they've, they've gone for the most important capture point, and that is a point: holding the yes. uh, double doors, large stairs and small stairs, and arming or charging the, the lower generator going for the SEU. Very, very important. Or they will be. I mean, I can see them. Oh wait, no, rebel rifles hold the lower ground. Mercenaries. I mean, this building, ground. of course, this building, of course, also very much plays to uh, mercenary strength and maxes. I mean, well, whether it be NC maxes or TR maxes, you can set up very, very well yeah. here. You've got lots of angles you can cover with your max. Well, one of the so big differences really we're seeing them. here is that. In this particular instance, on this fight in this building, in the bio lab, all of a sudden aircraft and uh, vehicles really don't matter anymore unless you want to counterattack for rebel rifles. So it's purely a 24 on 24 infantry fight. So there's no excuses. Now this truly is a straight up, is your outfit better than our outfit? And I'm seeing mercenaries use maxes, still using maxes that they probably had earlier. I'm not seeing any maxes from rebel rifles, and that's a big handicap. Honestly, I feel they've lost a lot of their maxes and they don't really have the infantry, infantry resources, resources any now. Yeah. So the uh, SCU shield gen is charged and vulnerable. We see a steady stream of rebel rifles coming in. I don't see them coming up or forcing as a, or should I say, as a like a you know collective punch. They're just yeah, coming they're in drips and drabs. They definitely not. A single max from rebel rifles just ran into the room without any engineer support. Just ran in and got gunned down by the. Uh, what does he expect to happen? Massive. Well, I don't know. I mean, someone must have told him to go in there at this point. Ah, uh, yeah. But I'm not quite sure why. Oh, very nice infiltrator play with the sniper rifle, catching rebel rifles off guard. They were going in for the uh, small stairs door, and they got picked off from the large stairs edge exit point. It was a nice flank there by Mercs. Rebel Rifles, a lot of them are dead, caught in smoke, half health, low shields. Um, once the SCU is vulnerable, which is in about 60 seconds, I can see Mercenaries just playing a really strong play and just holding the SCU generator. Yeah, Mercenaries is already getting very uh, ready for that. They've got a they've line going Charlie. on. Yeah, they've the got a line going Charlie on ready. from A to the SCU generator to, to Charlie right now. And they're just basically putting the line on the SCU. So once the SCU is vulnerable, all they have to do is basically pull both their forces together and they're flanking the SCU from three different sides. And that's that's yeah. a perfect approach. Well, There's not much Rebel Rifles can do except no, let's be flank clear. the line. Mercenaries are an NC outfit and they love bio labs. It is their bread and butter. It is what they do. And this is a bio lab fight and they're just demonstrating complete mastery here. Mercenaries, they're good in the air, but their forte, I think, is definitely fighting on the ground. And definitely. they have just dictated this fight. We are going to fight on the ground and we are going to dominate. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. I do like how they did that, though, because, I mean, obviously they did need air power. And, and if you notice, they at any time brought two or three liberators because they knew that, you know, with the liberators, they got lots of firepower. They can help the ground and at the same time also, you know, do put a lot of fire into the air and also take a lot of damage. So that was a really push. good approach. Kind of a streamlined push, but there's a push to take back Charlie. Um, which they manage. Which they indeed manage, and they managed to take down uh, Mercenaries Max. Uh, the SCU Mercenaries are actually down vulnerable. to half. Mercenary actually down to half of their forces right now. Are they not spawning in from their... I mean, they've got a teleporter building. They're coming from the teleporter, yes, but they're uh, slowly trickling in. They're down to about half of their forces. Well, they're not going to be able to take the... Well, the fact is, um, the main reason why that was possible was the fact that Rebel Rifle has brought on a lot of maxes that time, as we were saying. Yep. And the B Mercenary is still back. using two maxes, though, to keep that SCU safe. Single uh, Rebel Rifle's max running in there, but he's going to he's gonna get down pretty quickly. 
Oh, here come more Maxis. So they're coming in from the big stairs door, trying to push down on the generator. We've got two Maxis, um, double pounders for uh, mercenaries, with at least one engineer support backing them both up, and an infiltrator. Infiltrator is providing, or if he hadn't run out of ammo, he would be providing uh, sensor beacons. Now this is interesting. Uh, Rebel Rifles brought actually engineers along. This it seems for the two first pounder time. Maxis and engineer are holding off Mer sorry uh, Rebel Rifles for a very long time. They, they are doing that because while Rebel Rifles ha use, is using their engineers and so on to repair their Maxis, the Maxis are, back are not with actually max reinforcements. what they should be doing. And they've got the, reinforcements the on the top. I, I don't believe that. They, they've stalled so long on the ground floor by the generator that, okay, finally Rebel Rifles look as if they're about to take the lower generator, but Mercenaries are, are back yeah. on the top floor. They're now on the upper small staircase. It's because Rebel Rifles did not rush in with their NC Maxes. They were content to just push in behind yeah. cover. Yeah, they should have just walked and in most you know, of, um, and take them out. Well, that's bad. Now, now that the mercenaries have managed to get back in time, they've dropped down on behind what was left of the Rebel Rifles, and they've killed them all off. Now they've lost their Maxes. No chance of respawn or revive. And the SU shield generator was repaired, so that was a big yep. move by... Um, they did have enough time to repair it, which is good, because... Yeah. Mercenaries are trying to get inside. They're like, hey, yeah. we can't get in. What's going on? But yeah, you can shoot in, through the shields. The is going to blow in just 20 seconds. Oh, they're killing everyone. Oh, that is beautiful. They're killing everyone trying to repair it. And I, I swear to God, I'm going to get in here. Well, they're trying to, but uh, Rebel Rifles is in there. Oh, no. He oh, didn't manage it far. yet. Didn't manage okay. it. Rebel Rifles has lots and lots of guys in there. So they are going to manage it with five seconds left. It, I mental note. Never use a the camera on maximum are they? speed. Are they? Oh! Oh, what a save! We saw that! One second left and they saved the end. Well, there's enough people on it just hiding behind the point, and uh, yep. Mercs have decided fall back, regroup on the previous SU generator. Let's do it again. Yep. 60 seconds of course to go. The, yeah, of course, the generator already down to, you know. Oh, and. Oh my god, a Rebel Rifles infiltrator in Stalker Cloak puts down some proximity mines and manages to stabilize the generator, take out the Oh, three wow, yes. Wow. And the mercenaries didn't even notice. They didn't even notice yet. They're just now rearming. Well, the they're generator. using. They can't see them, so I can see um, the engineers using a flashlight every once in a while to try and pick out where it is. Generator's been rearmed. Um, we don't see the infiltrator anymore. Uh, engineer turret on the small stairs. Rebel rifles still trying to go in with the small stairs. Right, now they're going in from the big stairs entrance on the side, but mercenaries have got this pretty well locked down. Although, interestingly, they're not actually defending on the top ground, they're actually defending the generator itself. Yes. Rebel Rifles are definitely putting a bigger fight here, because uh, it's all revolving around uh, the generator. Um, mercenaries don't want to split up, they don't want to go for the two-point capture, the three-point capture, or, you know, hold them in the spawner. They want to go for the gen kill. Now, what I actually wonder is, we've got five seconds left before this base is actually secured for the NC. Do you think Rebel Rifles have they someone can. They outside? They can, they need the A-point. They need the A-point. Right, they do need the A-point, true. The facility is secure. So because of that, you know, Unlike in previous uh, instances where you have to leave at least one or two people behind on the outposts, you know, to make sure that you don't get counterhacked, uh, mercenaries can have absolutely everybody they want in the bio lab, uh, you know, True. because they're rear safe. Sweet. The problem is, I'm watching the minimap here, and I'm watching as uh, rebel rifles are coming in, and they're still coming in piecemeal, and that's the problem. It feels like it's a, just a general melee on live servers for them. Coming in, they're getting a couple of kills, they're maybe being a nuisance, but mercenaries are consistently reviving and picking up their guys and staying as a core. What, mercen what rebel rifles really need is a one big push. Lots of conch grenades or lots of AV, you know, just, just a hard-hitting attack to wipe it, because all they need to do is wipe out mercenaries' smaxes and prevent them from being respawned. Very, very true, and it just seems that they uh, just can't really wrap their head around that. They've so got there's... a Sundra at the bottom <laughs> of the, uh, okay. right now. So there's some really good play by mercenaries with um, their light assaults uh, jumping on the roof, but also one of their Maxis is bunny hopped on the rocks, and he's... Oh, he just dropped off the roof, I don't get that. He managed to get himself on the roof above uh, A-point, and he was shooting from above, picking off the... Um... Well, he's flanking the Rebel Rifles from behind, he's going to catch a lot of them off guard. Yep, he is. Uh, he's now got an engineer backup. Uh, Rebel Rifle's got a res grenade, but now he just has more people to kill. It's dangerous reviving your teammates without any sort of backup or, or the clearing the area because you, you revive with such low health, you can get picked off in a fraction of the time. Yeah, but here comes Rebel Rifles again going through the uh, main entrance from the SCU, bringing in a single max. And but Mercedes there's no backup. Only has oh. one max. 
Yeah, they're, they're, they're going the lower ground. Max right now. Nah, but the guy who came up on the small staircase, he got quickly picked off. There's too many mercenaries. Yeah, there. oh my. And on the small stairs, to get picked off again. What was that, two, three people? And they're going against maybe 10 or 15 in this particular area? Ah. Uh, no, it's, on, it's only going to be a matter of seconds before mercenaries decide to take their max as they already have two at the door and well, push the for SU's, the MCU. Yep. Well, they already yeah, have SU's a max down. at the... Yeah, two maxes. I can tell that. Push. They just tried to see for the max. He, they, I think they're rolling with flak armor right now. Uh, oh, and NC max goes down. And there's only one NC right now in the uh, SCU room. Is this, is this the mercs push? Here comes the smoke. They have some initial yep, comes max push. pushing. At the same time, they're taking point C with two or three people because, you know, why not? Let's take that point while we're at well, it. Well, it's a good flanking point. It has good cover. We're watching over the SEU. Yep. And Mercenaries is in the SEU, and they're setting up their maxes. Three maxes in the SEU. They don't have anyone to arm the Counter max though. push by Rebel Rifles. They're going for Charlie rather than the SEU generator. Perhaps they want to take Charlie back and then push into the SEU. SEU is being armed, it's about to go uh, critical. It is critical well, it now. Last time for Rebel Rifles. Well, yeah. They, right, so Rebel Rifles, most of them are live with support, ready from Charlie. Are they gonna make their push? Well, they've gotta make their push the SCU. I mean, that's 40 seconds away. Yeah, and Rebel Rifles did take Charlie. They've still got a lot of Maxis up. I see at least like five or six Maxis. So if they push into that SCU right now, they're pushing in with some another Max from the north too. Multiple guys from the north. E EMP grenades. No, the, the, the mercenaries have pushed back in. The problem is the shield generator isn't up, and as a result, they're able to get in and just dominate. Oh, and Rebel Rifles is not pushing out of seconds. point C. And they're not pushing out of point C. What are they doing? They're just standing. They need in to the go now because they need C. to just. Oh wow! This yeah, is... it was too late. It was and too late. They had. They Even had the if movement. they had everything, yeah, because this is, this is the, the old setup was you could have um, a Sundra on the ground floor and teleport. What was the teleport building right by the SU generator, which has just gone and down the right SCU now. SU goes down. But the, the thing is that um, now, if you have a Sundra even underneath the base, or you have the teleport building, you're still far away from the SU, and you yep. need to repair that. And mercenaries have just been dominating this whole game with their infantry play. Now, Rebel Rifles does have a Sundra at the bottom of the bio lab. So yep, we see that something. in the minimap. It means they can teleport up, but it also means that they have to come up from the spawn room, which is now open and vulnerable. Mercenaries are already here. They're watching the teleporting. They're tearing rebel rifles yeah. just to spawn in. Yeah, they're just sitting there, Maxis, in the spawn room. And they've already right picked now. off the uh, equipment terminals. So even if they did come in, they wouldn't be able to change their gear. They'd have to use the teleport. At the and same time, Rebel Rifle's taking point A, actually. Well, they're just going to go for the cap now, because it's not over until the base goes through, and a lockdown max waiting in the teleporter for them to teleport in. And, uh, it's just painful looking. Um, if we look at um, Rebel Rifles right now, they have a Sunderer out at Weimar Eastern Way Station. They're driving their Sunderer from the V-Bay area out away from the base. So what is going on here? We'll just warp outside and have a look. At the same time, I'm going to keep an eye on MCY, who are pretty much just scouring the uh, biolab Okay, so they've right set now. up their Sundra that was underneath the biolab, you know, at the teleporter, which is camped, now on the jump pad. So they're they're essentially attacking their own base to get it back from the jump pads, which Mercs have already got a max on. They've yep. already detected this about to happen. Not just the max, they've got three... Uh, they've got whole three bunch sports. of infantry they know now. Exactly, yes, they know exactly where the Rebel Rifles are. And again, Rebel Rifles, they're coming in piecemeal, one and two at a time. This, this is none of the concentrated force you need for attacking power. Big difference I'm seeing every time is mercenaries, they move as a team, they stay as a team within, you know, about 30, 40 meters, and when they push something, they all push within about 5 meters. Rebel Rifles, they fight together, you know, within about 30, 40 meters each other, but when they do a push, it's one, then two, then one, then two. They just don't yep. go in at the same time, and that's how they just get picked off. And seeing how Mercenaries has gotten the nickname Wall of Steel, you do not tear a wall down by, uh, you know, hitting it with a tiny hammer in different places. You gotta take one big wrecking ball and just swing it in one place till that mm. wall crushes. I'm and Rebel what... Rifles, I hope they take that away from this half, because they need to in the second half. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're looking at this. I mean, they look disorganized. They're on the jump pads. They're not no. going up the jump pads. They're at the teleport room. Perhaps they decided to use the teleporter in the VE area. Now they're moving up as a team. Uh, one medic, one max on the teleport. Right, so the medic is down. They've got themselves limited control of the... It's 30 seconds, though, until the base goes through. They need to get yeah. through the last defenders on the teleport pad. They need to get their guys, which are inside the base, at the SE... Oh, uh, no, at their spawn room teleporter, and they need to get to points. 
And well, the only closest point they can feasibly probably get to is B, B. but obviously Mercenaries And maybe from the teleport that. get to A, yeah. yeah. So Rebel Rifles is sending a few guys for A that they're sprinting Ten on their seconds. life right now. It's they're sprinting as fast as he can, but they can't get there in time. It doesn't, it doesn't work out. It doesn't work out. So with that, we Even have this a home base well. capture. We have a home base capture right now for Mercenaries, giving them five points. So with that, they've captured two points and the home base that ends the halftime and we've got a 9 to 0 for the mercenaries against yes. rebel rifles pretty. a 9 to 0 and and, and one thing we, we took from there was that it was pretty dominating there was um only once i think that rebel rifles lose the capture point you know on the first outpost and then take it back with frostfall outlook they lost it and they regroup it and they got it back after that when mercenaries came in and they set up it was it was game over pretty much set up set up shop and then it was dominating I don't think it's the airplane. I mean, Rebel Rifles, they put up an air fight. I mean, and, and it didn't feel as if Mercenaries' air force was supremely overbearing. Uh, like oh, a, no, definitely not. It, uh, like a I concerted mean, push was fine. And then on vehicle play, Rebel Rifles were fine with their vehicle play. I mean, they came in, they picked off Mercenaries' abandoned vehicles, they got rid of the spawns. But the problem is, Mercenaries only did a little bit of time to set up, to get their, you know, their Sunders deployed, to have the rest of their platoon spawn in, mm. you know, their group guys and then pull maxes, and then once they're on the capture point, that's it, they're happy. Now, if I'm Rebel Rifles, Kleka, what do you do to clean this up? I mean, their infantry for mercs is terrifying. Well, honestly, I mean, mercenaries made it, uh, like, pretty much, they, 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 they made the vehicle game, like, not matter at all, and they basically used the air game as more of a distraction than an actual, you know, like, an actual part, integral part. So, I mean, they're totally focused on the infantry play, which is understandable because they are very, very strong in that. So if I was Rebel Rifles in the second half right now, honestly, I would try to, you know, wrestle air control and just use air for what you have to use it, which is bomb as much infantry from the sky as you can and, you know, support your own infantry. Because I think that's what was really lacking. Because when mercenaries did have air control, which wasn't a lot honestly but when they did have it the moment rebel rifles did an infantry push they had liberators above their head and they got bombed if the rebel rifles can manage to pull the same thing off in the second half they have a much much better chance to beat the incredibly strong max infantry play of mercenaries yeah um they, they need to swap something around here because mercies are dictating the terms they're dictating the setting that look we have the point we don't care if we don't have any vehicles we're just gonna hold on to it so um let's say unlike last week where um there was a there was there was a weaker force defending the capture point and was pushed off by a superior infantry force this time around we have a superior infantry force on the point um and the fact that rebel rifles are coming in sometimes piecemeal sometimes a force and they don't have air dom or at least air cover or air denial they're just being destroyed and picked off by mercs but the thing that's a bit interesting about this base before we go into break is that these capture points, as I'll just show this, the, 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 you know, the viewers, they're some of the most exposed to Air Force. I mean, we look at the doorways, and when mercenaries got set up, the vast majority of their guys were on the ground. They only had a very few infantry, sorry, a few flyers left over afterwards. Um, at what point, do you, I mean, we saw Rebel Rifles come in with uh, rocket breakers, but the fact is, you get some good flyings, you can pound, if you've got air dom, the, uh, the doorways, the windows, and suppress uh, mercenaries to allow your infantry to get in. But I think, as we're both agreeing, they need to get air power back. But it can't just be air power that's dedicated for air on air. It needs to be some air on ground as well. It, especially if mercenaries get the capture point and then they set up with their 15 or 16 guys and at 3 or 4 maxes. Very, very true. Like, I really hope to see some more air game from Rebel Rifles because uh, the only Liberators who've done anything to the ground were the ones from Mercenaries. The All the Air Force from Rebel Rifles was completely focused on taking down, you know, like the, the Mercenaries' air. And then pretty much most of them, which I saw, actually jumped down to help on, in the infantry battle, which is just, at that point, I mean, you're throwing away your force multiplier right there. Like, you're, yeah. you're gaining one infantry man on the ground, but you're losing a reaver with breaker rockets or what have you up in the sky. I mean, and that's just not a fair trade. Yeah. So I, I really think Rebel Rifles is going to take that away from that, and, and they're going to try to, you know, support their infantry on the ground a bit more. Well, I've set the timer to a 50-minute break because we've been chatting for a little bit while, Klyka. 
we'll, uh, indeed. We'll, we'll go into our halftime break now, guys. And uh, don't go away, because we're going to see an epic comeback from Rebel Rifles. I can feel it. Or maybe you can yep. feel it, Klyka. And Now, uh, don't forget, of course, that in the second halftime, Rebel Rifles is going to play as VS, while the Mercenaries are switching to their home team, the NC. You'd so have to give their advantage too. to Mercs, probably, because they're playing home team. But who knows how much True. Rebel Rifles have been practicing team. So All right, we're going to the half, guys, and we'll see you in 15 minutes. Bye-bye. Welcome back, guys. We are now getting ready Welcome back. for our second half between Rebel Rifles and uh, Mercenaries. There's a lot for Rebel Rifles to do, isn't there? There's a lot to do for them, and I hope they are ready because I'm pretty sure the game is going to start in like 20 seconds or so. Uh, they've already got a Galaxy hovering uh, at Nord Amp Station, getting ready for that. So let's see how they turn out uh, in this half playing VS. Because, I mean, VS opens up some new that. options. Mercenaries They're... are going off the all-air system. Here we go. The game is live. Yep. Game goes live. And we've got lots of scythes being pulled. Obviously, we need that air battle. Let's, uh, let's yeah. hope your game doesn't lots crash of, uh... <laughs> This is the jinx. Well, uh, right now we see mercenaries pulling heavy air, heavy liberators. Their galaxy, which unlike other teams pulling infantry inside the galaxy, is just flying off by itself. Uh, mercenaries being slightly more cautious and they're grouping up their air forces before they move out. Can see there's actually a ground convoy of two sunders and two lightnings oh, that's very interesting one of them being rebel an rifles, ap lightning rebel rifles is sending in a single scythe right now to frostfall overlook he just jumped out yep he bailed he's, he's gonna, gonna go, for go the point. straight for the capture point yeah i have to wonder mercenaries knows though Ooh, they just lost the reaver bad <laughs> crash there yeah okay so i was gonna say in a resource before it's even uh infiltrate is gonna cap the point more of a nuisance yep. than anything i don't think mercenaries really care that much because they you know you lose too much if you just drop in with a squad beacon. But we'll see. Well, he he put down some squad, uh, some 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 mines, the proximity mines. He's still there in the base. But here comes What's the air the squad. Liberator doing for the VS. He's just landing. Is he crashed or bailed? Well, I don't know. But that's uh, one lib probably down. crashed there. I think. But yeah, here come all the scythes. That was the one lip. They've got uh, their galaxy. Rebel Rifles got the galaxy landed in um, geological survey camp actually. Some good fighting going on. Basically, everyone is on everyone's tail. Yep. Two more liberators coming in for rebel rifles now. One is already in the fray, very, very high up, uh, just basically sitting there shooting down at the uh, mercenaries air force, and another one good coming in. Good play by rebel rifles air in this instance. Um, we're watching very, some good kills. Very good. Oh, we've got a battle of the galaxy. <laughs> the VS galaxy tried to ram and oh, galaxy. see it in the galaxy distance. Going for Yep, and see Galaxy going for uh, geological This has actually survey. got gunners, oh, so this is interesting. So it's the downed alpha pilots of um, mercenaries have now back into the Galaxy and they're gunning. Well, let's have a look at this. Yeah, and Rebel Rifles also has uh, gunners in there. And oh, they're crashing! Oh! It's a belly flop of sorts. That is some kind of whale. The uh, Sky Guard of uh, mercenaries is also providing support from the uh, road line, so. Yep. They've got a galaxy backup. Sorry, they've got a, um, a liberator, liberator backup. L look at the flying on that liberator. That's it's just great pretty flying. sideways. Yeah. So fire suppression being used for the mercenaries galaxy. Now, as far as the rest is the air concerned, I don't see any uh, mercenaries reavers anymore. So this looks like um, that. Uh, at least this time around, rebel rifles have got themselves um, air control. Yeah, problem is Rebel Rifles did just oh, lose their galaxy got... and pretty much all of their Bravo squad just dropped out to the north of Frostfall Overlook, which has been secured by the mercenaries at this point. So They, they do have it. two infiltrators inside the base, though. They've got uh, defenders defending their point. The thing is, they're, they're flipping the point now. Um, and they've got it. So Geological Survey Camp is now in NC hands, but I can also see that um, some members of Charlie's squad for um, mercenaries are waiting to pull up fresh air. So yep. here we go, Rebel Rifles has air control, they've got rocket potting reavers, and they've got a Zephyr pounding a Liberator who's going to attack by... Flak yep. by the, their Sky the Guard. Problem right now, the problem right now is that mercenaries, they have a Sundra at Geological Survey Camp, they have their infantry here, yeah. and Rebel Rifles has all their infantry stuck at Frostfall because they wanted to take it, and the mercenaries just said, well, na 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 They've got Air right Force, here. but they're not actually picking up the one Sky Guard that's attacking them from the Amatar. Well, I say that now as it's incoming now from this. Uh, yeah, here we go, it's getting picked off. You'd think, at some point, yes. So, um, there is a Sunder deployed by the bridge, by mercenaries, so that's Sunder number one. I think that is the only Sunder for mercenaries. It's in a relatively good spot, but can be picked off by air. The capture point is still in mercenaries' hands. They've got themselves at least a couple of maxes, but they are outside in the open. This base, among 
all the others is the most exposed to air. Um, if you're ever going to have air control and pound the enemy into submission and use fewer infantry forces to take the point back, it would be at this point here. Yeah, but for some reason the Rebel Rifle's air is just kind of hovering outside of the base doing some little flybys instead of going for the Sundra or helping their infantry on the ground, which is woefully outnumbered right now by the mercenaries yeah. on point A. I don't know, but it's 2 minutes 30 now. There hasn't been much fighting infantry-wise on the ground. We see a couple of stragglers moving in, but mercenaries see them coming with the tracer darts. We got two extra lightnings coming as reinforcements. Four mercenaries. Um, I'll see what type they are. Another Skyguard. And another Skyguard. So they know they don't have air control, but they just want to do air denial. Good oh, Zephyr here comes Liberator. The Zephyr. Yeah, good Zephyr but Liberator. it needs but to come with an infantry, infantry push. Yes, where's the infantry? They're just sitting in the square. Now the, the right Liberator's now. rotated around, so he's now in firing range of the three Skyguards. So he has to bail out Lashers. Oh, and, the, and at this point, at this point, the infantry comes. Yes, at this point, the timing is a bit off. Ten seconds too late on the infantry there. Sad. Two minutes Sad to go. Sad that that happened. Where... Where's the inf where's the group for Rebel Rifles? Well, Rebel Rifles right now has all of their Bravo squad on the okay, bridge. Okay, they're They've on the multiple bridge. multiple maxes. Yeah. I mean, obviously they're taking the bridge. We know how strong the bridge is in this space. Like, if you have the bridge, you have the you have the higher ground. You can shoot at the people on the capture point. Okay, so another they thing we didn't mention is they killed, they killed off the Sundra. Shift maxes. They killed off yeah, the they... Sundra that was at the bridge, but yeah. now Mercenaries have already brought in a, a replacement. Oh, the vehicle terminal for NC is, is hacked. Is hacked. Look, attack. they need to turn around to kill it. You you can't leave a a, an equip, a V term like that in our case. We've got a max possible dealing. Yeah, there. the max is doing it right now, but still. So but they've got multiple maxes, all equipped with blue shifts. A lot of blue shifts. A good point at this point. I mean, they're doing what they did before. They're using maxes to push on mercenaries and need to push. I mean, they've probably got an infantry on the point right now, which looks like an engineer, but they don't have any. Ma the maxes don't have any support. But it looks yeah. like mercenaries are finally getting suppressed by air. Uh, well, and the problem is, surrounded. Rebel Rifles brought in two Liberators, but they immediately lost one to an MCY Liberator who just flew in and unloaded his tank buster on the Rebel Rifles one. And right now, the Rebel Rifles air cannot help them on the ground where the mercenaries are uh, actually losing the point here. To yeah, the they've lost it. Uh, it and it's, it's a good sign that although there are squad beacons and they're dropping in to try and contend the point, as we're saying at this point, if you have air dominance and you sacrifice some infantry members, it pays off dividends because you can bomb the enemy into submission. Uh, and then, so long as they keep killing off the mercenary spawns, as which they've done, and have done again with the other sun... No, wait, tell a lie. It's actually parked yep, it's underneath the bridge at the V-Bay. It's still oh, there. The favorite spot on SMU in this place to <laughs> yes. park your Sundra. Um, that's significant. Spot. If Because because they took so long to grab the capture point, it means that now that they've regained control, it's still only 90 seconds. You know, it's, it's a much shorter time. And... Uh, you, now you're torn if you're Rebel Rifles. Do I go for that Sunder and kill off you know, their hard spawn, their max spawn? Or do I just go for the point and cling on to the point as long as possible? Because if we're looking at the skies, the air that was yep. there has been fended off. And Rebel Rifles is bringing in two new Liberators, one of them heading for the base right now. And I sure hope that Liberator is actually going to go for the Sundra, because that's your job, buddy. Oh, that's that's what you got to do. Tight gripping of um, NC on oh, the cap And he point. gets immediately taken down by a Mercenaries Liberator flying in. Right now, they're just trading Liberators back and forth, pretty much. Oh, Rebel Rifles Liberator. They got lots of sights. again. There's no reason why they should lose their own Liberator, that being Rebel Rifles one. And then you can see how the um, Merch Liberator is focusing purely on the Rebel Rifles one, because that's the real threat. Yep. Back on the ground, however, it's trading back and forth. There is a high explosive lightning for uh, Mercenaries and a Skyguard on the point, which they've driven in. Yeah, and they've been on this point for the last minute or so, and definitely acting as a wall We're looking against the, the Rebel Rifles. Sundra, we can see, is still alive for Mercenaries. So they're st they've got the problem is that they have a steady stream of reinforcements. If you're Rebel Rifles, you need to take the teleporter build, even with a couple of guys, or even just one hero with AV mines, drop down and blow it up. Because this constant reinforcements from Mercs is what's killing off um, the ability to retake the base for Rebel Rifles. They've even brought in their Charlie squad now, their air squad mercenaries. They're just saying, Rip. screw it, have everyone on the ground. Rebel Rifles has two Liberators and three Scythes up in the air right now, and all they're doing is hunting like a single Liberator from the This is the big difference. Down. Mercenaries have decided we are going to put every single person we have on the cap point. And that, in normal sense, you think, well, that's crazy. You'll get bombed. But a couple of, you know, Skyguards and just some maybe Burster Max and 
just all their infantry on the point is enough with a lightning back around and working as a tight knit team, they are taking the space and rebel rifles don't have the answer. <laughs> Mercenaries at this point actually only has two people in the air at any time, one Reaver and one Liberator, and all the Liberator does is literally fly yeah, towards the Rebel Rifle. So is that 11-0 now? Out. That is now 11-0 for the Mercenaries. Yeah, so I mean, the air power is definitely in the hands of uh, Rebel Rifles, but Mercenaries far, yeah. just laughed at them and said, well, you know what, we have flak armor maybe, yep. we, we have the point. We outnumber your infantry on the ground, and you're barely bombing us. So, and but, on yeah. top of that, there's a Sundra. There's a hard spawn point that they can come in from that was not killed off. Yeah, so right hmm. now, the rebel rifles have three liberators. Like, just just let that go through your head. Three liberators up and in the sky. And mercenaries they still managed to get a Sundra. Yeah, they haven't gotten a kill in the last two and a half minutes. Three liberators. There's on I, this I, open I, base. And the thing is, is that there's a Sundra that made it to the next base, not research camp. And even if it doesn't live for, I don't know, like more than 30, 40 seconds, the simple fact that it's made it there and they are killing all the other Sunders except from the one that's actually deployed at the point, Mercies are just gonna run into the base. If I was Mercies, yep. I'd spawn on that Sundra and just run into the base because you can't be bombed and this is one of the few outposts on this lane that you can't be bombed by air and air, doesn't matter. <laughs> At this point, mercenaries are pretty much just thinking, oh, you killed our Sundra, doesn't matter, had spawn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here's pretty a beacon, much. here's a beacon, we got enough maxes, we'll take the capture point, job done. Although, they are being picked off now, so mercs to a little bit too long getting to the point, and the air and yeah, the shredders are being taken. at the same time, at the same time, look at this, Rebel Rifles pulled a lot of lightnings, actually the first proper big vehicle pull we're seeing, and what's happening, they're outside the walls, and too the late. mercenaries have the point, and they it's can't get in, so they have to leave they their to lightnings abandon. outside, they have to abandon at this point. Well, they, they, I, I would keep the air control, I mean, you just can't abandon it, but at the same time, now you're in an instance where you have to prevent, um, there's only a couple of mercenaries here, you have to prevent the squad beacons and the reinforcements. Yeah, here comes Bravo Squad from the Rebel Rifles going for the point, and there's, I think, like, one or two mercenaries in there. There's one infiltrate. I love the Liberator whose nose is in the front yeah, door. Yeah, I love... This is so funny, by the way, because this Liberator, in this space where you have no opening for the capture point, this is where he starts bombing the capture point. And in the base beforehand, oh, they're where cleaning there was literally clear sky. You know, yeah, you look at the minimap, it it's, it's all clean. So, and yeah. they're not going to lose... They've got their lightnings parked outside. Yeah, it should be fine. moved their galaxy over. That was a good play by Rebel Rifle. They've got the galaxy directly above the point, and they're already dropping on it right now. So once... Uh, the uh, not oh, research Mercs is still, secured. They're gonna now it. that they've got the base and that first pool didn't happen, they've pulled their Charlie squad has basically pulled a fresh set of air. So now they're contending for the air again, fighting out as a team. They've got their galaxy, they've got a couple of lobes, and they've got their reavers. Uh, and I don't know if Rebel Rifles have been caught off guard or if they're just scattered and they don't have like any sort of um, organization to regroup. See one of the liberators is about to go down. He's burning. Yeah. Well, right now, Rebel Rifles has a lightning at geological survey, and they're just now starting to cap the point. Following a uh, Rebel Rifles uh, mosquito, decided to break off. Okay. Here come Rebel Rifles moving their lightnings across the bridge, but at the same time, Mercenaries now has a lot of air brought in their own galaxy and are defending geological survey camp. So not quite sure uh, how those lightnings are going to fare, honestly. Well, there's also a Mercenary... Wait, nope, there's another Rebel Rifles lightning. Yep, so they are moving up to this next point, uh, at geological camp survey. Uh, but Mercenaries are defending. They've got the galaxy in the point defending. They've got at least two infantry playing defense. Um, if you're Rebel Rifles, you need to get the galaxy to leave, but at the same time, you've lost air control. I mean, we're looking over... Yeah. We, um, we have five Rebel Rifles sitting at the air terminal at Not Amp Station right now, waiting to pull air. I think they don't have the resources or the timer right now. Yeah, that's... I mean... The thing is that mercenaries are on your doorstep. I mean, they could, if they wanted to come, come in. And they already are. They look... The, the Liberator for... A rebel rifles that landed to get a gunner got nose dived by a one out of three liberator of uh, mercenaries. Rebel rifles is trying to bring their lightnings into geological survey camp, but they can't seem to quite fit them through there. So they're all outside in the open. Being well, this guy knows where he is. Right We're now. looking the stream. He's found the entrance point. Yeah, he needs to yeah, be telling he his found friends. The entrance, yep. This is like watching a conception right here. But the difference here is that if you look at mercenaries, they're reavers. They're not air to air. They're not really hellfire. They're all rocket pods. They came in with their reavers and said, you know what? Our gunplay is better than your gunplay and coyote play. Therefore, we're going to have rocket breakers and we will destroy you. And that's what's happening here. They've got lots of rockets and they're just pounding the um, lightnings of rebel rifles. 
And although they lost the capture point, the fact they have the galaxy and the air control, it, it's only a matter of time before it flips back. I don't see any squad beacons either for rebel rifles. It's valiant that they're doing an attempt, and this is what they need to do. They need to try and get this counter pressure up. I tell Light, they have they, they have a squad beacon in the aerial antenna. This is it's just token numbers at the moment. Now, Rebel Rifles is incredibly split up. I'm not quite sure what they're doing. They've got four lightnings and, a, well, three lightnings and a Sundra, three Skyguard lightnings and a Sundra up at Not Research. They've got a Liberator flying up <laughs> the there. They've got multiple just... scythes. Just, there is no coherent front right now for the Rebel Rifles. They're um, moving across like the bridge. The Rebel but... Rifles hacked the V term at um, Geological's Camp Survey, but it was instantly picked off and killed. Uh, and the Galaxy for Re Mercenaries that went there. for it. Really? I can blow it up. It's still there. It's still there. I'm looking at it. It's like so they're the taking nurse? it out now, though. Mercenary's taking it out with a commissioner right now. No, actually, he's just like no. Which uh, which sender are you talking about? Geo on the bridge. Geological survey. Oh, on the bridge. I'm talking about under the bridge. I'm talking about the one at the spawn point with the V turrets. Oh, that one. No, no, no. Okay, no. so yeah, so we see um, uh, rebel rifles, Sunder. You're you're too close to the deploy field. The deploy field's around here with the minimap. He has to back yeah. up. Uh, but that's exposed. I mean, that... Right, so there's a reason why people park underneath the bridge, and that's simply because you... If the enemy has air control, you don't get bombed. And... Well, I tell you what, it's not as many Rebel mercenaries Rifles in the in air. the base now, by the way. They're coming from the uh, longish building, and they're going for the capture point. But it's it's a trickle. Well, and the Sunder's been all deployed. These lightnings. Yeah, the they Sunder's still deployed. still have all these lightnings and not amp. I'm not sure what they're doing there. The sun is deployed, and we got fresh mo uh, mozzies, sorry, scythes coming in. Uh, so, I mean, it doesn't look like there's much air for either team, but if the important thing here is that nothing's going on the ground, no one's getting bombed. So this works in Rebel Rifles' favour, because they're not being bombed on the capture point. They still have a Sunder that's deployed, although this medic just ran away from his burning Sunder. He didn't choose to get engineer, he didn't choose to fix up his Sunder, he decided to run for the capture point. I question that a little bit, but okay. And well, at the same time, Rebel Rifles are bringing in five Sky Guards to Geological Survey. Well, and they they've did got enough to people. The uh, this is another thing we're seeing here. Um, at the capture point, at Geological Camp Survey, they've got infantry, but only infantry on the capture point, either drop pointing in or what, or you know, running from the Sundra. Where's the Maxes? Mercenaries did this last game, right, or in the previous space, and they used the Sundra. Uh, okay, it's a good engineer fixing the Sundra now, to bring in Maxes. They have a hard spawn. They have a Max point. I don't see any maxes. One good mercenaries push with maxes will push them off the capture point. Yep. But where are the mercenaries right now? Because pretty much all of the rebel rifles are on the point on geological survey right now, and I'm pretty sure they really, really want to take well, this base because they don't want to go with zero points. But uh, where where well, are the mercenaries? Well, Charlie's squad right for mercenaries, they're regrouping, trying to get air or sky guards. So it looks like Charlie's their air denial. Alpha and Bravo are beginning to come out, but they're not actually attacking as a coordinated force. Uh, they seem to be spread out. Um, you know, going for the bridge and also uh, pushing up straight through the main um, kind of walkways we're showing on stream. Cap points slightly in contention. They are firing smoke, but there's more than enough. Well, I see there's more than enough rebel rifles. Where are they? Are they backing off from the point? Here comes a very low flying uh, mercenaries galaxy. Do you see one sorry. rebel rifles max? Or if you look at the platoon setup, do they have one max at this base? No, uh, there is one max, yes. It's exactly at the capture point next it's to not a enough. single max. Yeah, oh, it's see, a single yeah. blue shift max. Yep, we see it now. Just saw it very briefly. Now, do you see that? Do you see that stealth mercenaries galaxy coming in from the east on geological? Now, watch this. Watch this. Come, it's coming in so yeah, so very nice. Low. Is he Look going for that. the galaxy? Look at that. Is he not dropping no. anyone? No, he's just doing a flyby. Just doing a flyby here. He's and getting he's attacked by Libra. Right. Did he <laughs> just try and sit on one of his own? With the lightnings? Oh wow. Okay, so he's bailed out, and that's a game. Oh, okay, so we got. It was a nice drop, but realistically, he should have stopped at the Sundra to try and pick it off. At the same time, the mercenaries did a little max assisted push on the point. They're actually turning the Constant pressure on the cap point is making the difference, even though mercenaries, sorry, uh, Rebel Rifles have a cap point. Admittedly, it's now under attack by Rebel Rifles Liberators, but they've had the Sundra for such a long time that maybe they should have taken a page from Mercenaries book and just gone full infantry. All 24 people on infantry have about, let's say, 10 maxes on the capture point, mixture of AA and, and, and you know, anti-vehicle, you know, for enemy yep. maxes, and they would have probably taken it. And with one minute left to go, Mercenaries pushed them off. Uh, even even though they had so many Skyguards outside of the base, the Mercenaries' air just rained down on them and did whatever they wanted to. Yeah. And they're pulling they're pulling Sundras now, though. Rebel Rifles coming in with three Sundras. But they still the have their original Sundra. I mean, they're, they're choosing not to spawn here. I mean, now Mercenaries have pushed up to the Sundra. I... what's... where are Rebel Rifles at the moment? 
Are they further well, back? Right now, Rebel Rifles, Rebel Rifles are at the north. They have a single Sunder at the north of Geological Survey Camp. Most they've got uh, two, two Max is stationed there, one Max actually stationed there. But Mercenaries is already going for it, gonna see for it. Uh, Rebel Rifles. Yeah, Their mercs are charging in, trying to you know C4 YOLO it, but it's got composite armor on, and there yep. is an engineer fixing it. But now we've got anti-vehicle maxes from mercenaries coming up and trying to just the push. There he goes, takes and taking down by double falcon. Oh. At the same time, rebel rifles is setting up another sundra on top of the bridge to the south. Okay, that's a no under the bridge, but at a completely different point of under the bridge. They're going directly for the spawn room. They're going directly for a spawn room. That's a double. That's like a bulldog. That's a Bulldog Cobalt, the Sundra, directly in front of the capture point. Oh, yep, see it on the cap point, yep. Okay, that's <laughs> an interesting that's composite thing armor, right Bulldog and Cobalt. Uh, you know what? The, cob the Cobalt oh. got buffed, it's, it's a very, Oh, very I tell you what I just saw, I just saw a Mercenaries, um, oh, they've got an ATV, stealth ATV. Uh, flying around, I don't know what he's going to be doing, to be honest, but the point is that, you know what would have been good? When they had the capture point, one or two maxes, and then use the Sundra, because this is actually really, really good for. Um... I I love this battle bus right now. Like he's keeping he's keeping the mercenary max there uh, occupied. Ah, oh, oh, see, tank now they were line. using it maybe a little tank bit too line. offensively because I mean, let's be clear here: rebel rifles could theoretically have spawned in on that Sundra, you know, but yes. they didn't. Or, or they didn't in great numbers. Back, yes, as fire support. No, and, and the fact is, a good push would have been to set up a Sundra that they originally had at the point that lasted a good 2-3 minutes and then driven in the second one and used it with the infantry support. That sort of heavy vehicle infantry thing would have been a big play, but it's not the case. Big fight keeping... Uh, Still contending the cap again. point. But the problem is that Mercs have got their max and he's got his engineer that support. That one max, that one max has gotten so many kills just now. He's just holding them all off. Yeah, well, if we press tab and look at the kills list, we can see that um, 16 kills, 12 kills, and then kills, the rest yeah, are all yeah. single digits, yeah. I mean, there's still a... Rebel Rifles bringing in three Sunders again from the north. Let me check their configuration. Uh, one is an anti air Sunday. Yep. He's another probably going to deploy. Anti air with a Bulldog. And, oh, and here comes another Bulldog Cobalt one. Now what's interesting is that they're going, uh, their setup is, it's a, it's a mixture of um, gear, you know, of, of firearms, and okay, so the Sunder that's deployed is smartly done because, hey, but I'm going to be anti-air, but he got bombed off. Yeah, I, I question the types of vehicles and the, the equipment they're using, I mean, maybe repair Sunders, because we saw that Mercs, they brought in repair Sunders when they were being offensive. To, to give benefit to, because with a repair sunder you can repair a fellow sunder and you can also repair, you know, your own vehicles in the sky. You know, so if you've got a damaged aircraft, you need So, SF. Rebel Rifles, by the way, right now is bringing, again, a smoking sunder at the exact same point they brought in before, the south yep. of, the, of the base. He's got an anti-air gun and a bulldog, that's not yeah, and the Two bulldog, of them! Okay, so if, if you've got one Bravo and Alpha, that oh, no He's one's deployed. deployed. Oh, yeah, okay. he deployed. But the other one is the exact same setup we had just now. Bulldog plus Cobalt, a driver and two gunners. And let's hope that this guy doesn't... No, no, no. Crazily. It's changed nope, because they've taken that. too long. Because they've taken too long, this only works if the capture point's still in contention. Mercenaries have used their galaxy to drop on oh, the capture point behind. Right now, there we go. Well, it, it doesn't even matter the fact that the Sundra was so close to the spawn room or the side teleport room. Mercenaries got the capture point and they already used their galaxy yep. or their drop point to get in. And now they've got double squad beacons and they're just pulling their guys in. So, this is the second time Mercenaries have been at this base. But this is the first time where they've managed to get enough numbers on the point. Although, good Zoe Max from Rebel Rifles. He's been conked though and he's been picked off. Yeah, but they did manage to take out... Oh, all but the there's no medics. Oh, mercenaries revive grenade though. Okay, I'm trying to find their medic. I'm not seeing it. Oh, he's all the way back. They've by still the got stairs. the squad beacon, though. just got all of them up. Wow. The important thing is that um, mercenaries keep the, the floor. Because they keep the floor, um, you know, they can res their dead if they had a medic, which they don't. But then they still have the squad beacons, as we see on the minimap. Right, well, this, this is up for rebel. I mean... This is a particularly bad base for rebel rifles, because if it turns into a pure infantry and infantry fight, from what we've seen previously, mercs maybe has a slight advantage and we can see a motion sensor deploy as well. If you're rebel rifles you need to like maybe EMP or concrete or push hard here. You can rocket. Now that being said, if they get rocket pods, you can hover the um 
ESF or the liberator, you know, pointing what we're doing, showing on the stream now, just looking straight on the point, and you can bomb in and just soften up this room, forcing mercenaries to leave the capture square building, and then your infantry can push in, which looks like what they're doing now, but it's only four of them. Uh, At oh, the same time, by the way, Rebel no Rifles Max. has a spawn beacon and a few guys, including a flash, up at Geological Survey Camp. So I think they're very com uh, they're very confident in getting that point and not research well, back, and then immediately pushing it. The thing with Mercs is, they got here, but unlike previous attempts where they had a Sundra, that even if only lift for one or two minutes, they were able to get Max and Max playing reps, yeah. there was no Maxes. It was all soft squishies, and as a result... Um, Rebel Rifles came in with maybe not the greatest organization push, but the fact is they came in with maxes and they just destroyed the mercenary force. So they've got the cap point and they're taking it back. And well, the problem is right now that's one and a half minutes they have to wait. Mercenaries, by the way, true. still actually has a spawn beacon. And in those one, of, uh, one and a half minutes, I mean, Mercenaries is just going to reset their defenses. And they yeah. already know that uh, Rebel Rifles is at Geological Survey Camp. So they're and not going to just let them sit there. And they're and playing the waiting game. Because of that squad beacon, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they're shuffling some of their members around, perhaps. Doesn't look like it at the uh, moment. Platoon setup. Well, some, someone just dropped in, though. Yeah, well, no, one thing is they're, they're, sh they're dropping in on the Alpha Beacon and... They may have promoted, yeah, it looks like they've shuffled some people around and did the whole promotion yep. game. Here comes another spawn because they Yeah, we can see that. The they just one. swapped leadership. Yeah. And it's a lovely spot on the roof. I don't see any light assaults at the moment for Rebel Rifles. And they're just being harassment and a nuisance. 50 seconds though and you know, Rebel Rifles can take the fight back to Geological. Yep. The moment those 40 seconds are up, Geological Survey is uh, going to get attacked by Rebel Rifles because they're already on the point. <laughs> this is one hero heavy. He's just he's just living the dream, uh, staying alive, being a nuisance, firing rockets, making sure the squad beacon stays alive. It must be frustrating for. Oh, that being said, here comes a light assault for. Oh, he's got him caught out. Oh, <laughs> shotgun to the face. Goodbye, squad beacon. Right, so rebel rifles have finally cleared up. Um, not research camp, and the cap point. Twenty five seconds. Still thirty seconds. Yeah, or twenty five seconds still to go though. And Rebel Rifles is on the capture point in Geological Survey with three people. They've yeah, got a Sundra. Yeah, they've got one Sundra, who th which they're setting up at the favorite spot on SMR. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they hacked the vehicle terminal. So uh, this is going to look good. I mean, There's if they can of... get their guys from not amp very quickly over here, uh, the, the, that's piece, good. the thing is, though, um, mercenaries have got themselves another infiltrator and another squad beacon deployed. It's, you can notice it. And there's a lot of infantry left by Rebel Rifles at the point. Now, they've got the point and it's flipping the next base, but they have a lot of maxes and yep. a lot of infantry. The infantry can yep. redeploy, but that's still about 15, 20 seconds before you can effectively be fighting yep. the ground. Would have been great if they had had uh, a gap. Sundra waiting outside to drive at least the maxes there. Ah, uh, true, but of course Galaxy, and, and mercenaries, you know, here they they've come. already they came back. One. They used their yeah, Galaxy, they, they came dropped. Back. They, they brought in two maxes, pushed them off the point, and here we are. And the thing is, this cap point for it was was seconds, so which means it's going to take seconds for mercenaries to grab it. And the galaxy, if we notice, is actually already picking up uh, the maxes specifically yep. of you know mercenaries. They're going to go for another attack, or, you know, or or a, a drop on enemy armor. Yeah, and they're going right now. Here goes the galaxy going in low. Bravo going squad in fast. staying behind, keeping the point, and Bravo is already flying back. And with the maxes from the galaxy, they don't even need the Sunder to deploy and get the galaxies out. They can just fly to the point, drop down, and then squad beacon in with the infantry. And with the maxes they've got, it provides that sort of bulwark to prevent anti-max play. You know, I, I enjoy play. that little uh, lightning uh, lightning push by mercenaries right now. They're actually going for the Sunderers. Anyway, here comes the drop on not research amp from mercenaries. Oh, but, but it's oh, two maxes oh, oh. waiting. Yep, Rebel Rifles, one of them with anti-vehicle uh, with comments. The thing is, the, the, the two uh, Rebel Rifle maxes have been split. And oh, they have been. Yeah, they've been split. One, yeah. So now it's a question of there's a squad beacon much closer to the capture point as I bump into a max. So if I'm mercenaries, I'm deploying straight on the point. At the same time, if I'm a mercenaries max, I'm going to play it, make sure I, if I die, I stay inside the cap point so I can get a quicker res. So I'd expect about 10, 15 seconds at the most and we'll start seeing mercenary drop pods coming in. And all of the... Rebel Rifles, are there many Rebel Rifles still at Geological? Oh, they've got a double Sundra play! Oh no! They've got the double Sundra play again, but it's too late. They've already lost the point. The squad beacon and everything, it's, it's, it doesn't matter. They've been sidetracked. Mercy's no, Rebel Rifles bringing in 
Ring Rebel Rifles bringing all of their infantry pretty much. Still have that one Liberator, but the Liberator not really helping on the ground right now, which is very, very hard to do in that building. And he has to deal with uh, some enemy air here. Ooh, one medic res too far. He got his man though. Uh, Rebel Rifles, by the way, have a Sundra at Geological Surveys Camp, as well as uh, two or three infantry. So yeah. again, again they're preparing for the attack on this. Well, we have about 16 and a half minutes left of this game. I mean, plenty more can happen, but right now uh, we're witnessing Rebel Rifles on the outside, not with really many maxes left over, trying to do an no infantry max. push no max at all. into mercenaries on the capture point. Now, the Lasher play is annoying, that's for sure. Uh, the Lasher is Mercs very have got annoying, but... the Mercs have got maxes, although that's a Falcon, so he's not going to be as effective on the infantry. There we go, that... so there we go, there's some oh, other ones boy. in the back. So now you've got three maxes, little counter push from the staircase. And they're just keeping them focused in on the double doors. Oh, that just he just took out three, one max and two infantry for mercenaries right there. Mercenaries lost quite a few guys, but they still got uh, some more <laughs> reinforcements on the stairs. There are so many maxes. Well, they've brought so in their air maxes. squad guys now, so I mean... If I'm Mercs, and it's, it looks like this is now the case, it looks like Mercs are slowly transitioning to just pull in their entire platoon onto the ground. Uh, yes, so mercenaries have deployed a Sundra now to the south of Not Research Camp. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been started. They've got two Sundras set up now, and they're bringing in their whole platoon on the base. There's, there's not a single, I tell you, like, there is a single reaver in the sky and a couple of, which looks like sky guards between the amp station and Not Research Camp. Uh, just preventing kind of air bombardment, which is extremely smart. Uh, we got high explosive, armor piercing, high explosive, and oh, where's number four? Sky guard. We've got we've got reavers trying to go again for the point with some access now too. They're in the smaller building. Oh no, this is good. North. Have you noticed the the um, lightning placement for um, mercenaries? It actually allows them to snipe behind the Rebel Rifles infantry as they leave the spawn rooms before they can get to the capture yeah. point. And the fact that they have one Sky Guard is a bit weak, but the fact is it's enough to be an air deterrence. Well, because we're not seeing many Rebel Rifles, and if Rebel Rifles decide to pull heavy air, then they're wasting time on the capture point. So this is playing beautifully into Mercenary's hands, and the rest of their entire platoon is going to be in the capture point. Yeah, they actually just That's herded the Rebel Maxis. Rifles. They actually just herded the Rebel Rifles with those lightnings into the smaller building to the west, and the Maxis were just waiting in there and picked all of the Rebel Rifles forces That's off. That's good vehicle with, placement, yeah. Yeah, and with that, there's 35 seconds left on this base cap, and I don't see Rebel Rifles taking that out, because literally, like you said, the entire Mercenaries platoon is sitting on this point. Because th this is this is one of the bases where, when it's an infantry fight. Um, it's it just plays into your hands. We don't have a spawn point. It doesn't matter. You know we're totally fine. But the fact is, they do have a spawn point. They still have a lightning, uh, sorry, one Sundra alive. So you've, you know they still have a hard spawn for extra maxes. I reckon they're playing four maxes maybe. It's still more than enough. Good combination of AV and anti-infantry. Yep. Well, oh. uh, it's too late. It's two seconds, and then that's it. Base is flipped. Doesn't look Base like there flipped. was um, any real like infantry. Like, coordinated push once Mercs got their whole platoon on board. With that, we've got a 13 to 0 for the mercenaries. And the lightnings are picking off the last stragglers. Um, not seeing... I see one scythe. It's interesting how the, the, the fight is actually degraded purely into a ground fight. Mercenaries dictating the terms, saying this will be a ground fight, and rebel rifles, you know, through the very t way they strategically place their vehicles and how they capture the point and you know, Rebel Rifles are falling for it, and, and they're playing in infantry as well. And and now we're up for the tricky base. Of all the bases, right, no amp station is the hardest to take. Definitely. Whichever so, team is defending this one obviously has the advantage. On the other hand, you're fighting against, you know, you're fighting over your home base, so you need every advantage you can get at that point. I think they're abandoning, yeah, they're abandoning the Lightnings. You know what? I think Mercenaries are going to go for, um... Uh, they're gonna go for a harasser gate defuse possibly. They're gonna go around to the north side, which is great. Because the patch has just come in, which means oh, they're so gonna have harassers. gate defuse and afterburner. So many harassers. They're being bombed. Oh, the gate defuse oh, didn't they, work! They didn't, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Three oh. gate defuses not working at oh. once? What? Oh. Really? Did that just happen? Fourth None of it. One didn't work. No gate Fifth defuse. One. Fifth one didn't work. Wow, this is dodgy. Wow. Someone needs to go test this on live server, please, KK, thanks. 
A sixth one didn't work. Okay, here comes the here Sundra. Comes Sundra. Here comes Sundra. <laughs> he bumped into. The diffuser doesn't work. Ladies and gentlemen, the gate diffuser has been and declared legally dead at this point. And they've abandoned their lightnings, which means the sky guards are not there, and they're being picked off. Rebel rifles have come in with a large um, scythe force from uh, presumably the warp gate. Yeah. He feel also, bring in like oh, now a gate diffuser worked. Harasser is actually through the shield, but gets picked off by a lightning immediately. Oh, oh and then another one didn't work for a rebel rifle, as you can see. I I'm loving the fact that harassers are getting played, but I'm a little bit concerned that the A, the gate diffuser didn't work. Here comes another gate diffuser. Oh, he's, he's in. Through. Is he gonna make it all the way? Oh, but there's a lightning right there. There's a lightning. Oh, he got clipped off to the side. Oh, he can't get yeah. in. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna run over? He's trying to do tank mines. Oh, he gets his kill. He gets his lightning. He can die happy. At the same time, though, one of the harassers actually made it through the uh, northern shield, and the uh, infantry that was in there managed to uh, get the um, uh, hack the so vehicle shield generator. But it's being if I'm Mercs, right if I'm Mercs, and I yolo in here with my oh, I just got killed by a uh, anti-personnel mine. I would charge in here with the harassers and hack the V term, and then pull out the Sundra and have my squad spawn on the Sundra. That's pff, that's the only thing I. Then again, Mercs do have Sunder backup. They were probably looking to charge in with all their vehicles. It looks like it's a bit disorganized because this is definitely going to stall because the AV turret is being used by uh, Rebel Rifles. This right now is a very, very crazy. This is how, how the uh, Rebel Rifles are pulling some lightnings out. They've got the terminals going on. This almost feels like like a like a life battle right now because there's a lot of stuff going on. There's some fighting going terminals, on. Terminals, air lock generators, Yeah. Is here comes tired. another Sundra. Is it gonna work? It does, right? Yeah. He's on half health. He's got blockade armor. He's running There's for no the. Make is it. Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? And he goes. Oh, oh tank mine. He needs to repair. Get out and repair. Okay, he's medic running. coming in with C4. C4's in the back. Oh, he's he's gonna blow up. He's yeah, Ooh, sit down. down. Now, and they got a max on the inside. I mean, if Rebel Rifles play defensive here and just play smart, they'll never lose this base. Uh, but Pretty at the much. same time. They'll never get anywhere if they don't attack either. Now, when we're seeing from mercenaries... Yep. By the way, Rebel Rifles actually has their Charlie uh, squad leader who is a... Uh, oh, oh, he just got literally taken out. He was going, he was an infiltrator, he was going for not research point, but... Uh, mercenaries, by the way, have three people defending... <laughs> Three <laughs> Sorry. That's just a harasser with fury. Gate diffused in, and then he's got annihilated by tank mines. And then we have a second one in with an enforcer, but he's got C4 and oh gosh, he's got blown up. Yep. That looked now, again, painful. as I just said, uh, mercenaries, while they're attacking this, they're not in any way forgetting about their defense. They've got three people on not research endpoint just And they sitting are there actually going times. for plan B now. They are, yeah, they got three people I can see on the capture point. That's Bravo 2, 4, and 6. We have a quick peek here. 2, 4, and 6 is an engineer and a, uh, two engineers and a medic. And they are actually now taking out the shield generators. So if you're rebel rifles, you want to use the spawn room, you want to use the tunnel system that will take you to the shields because they need to repair the south shield. Which is not being defended. Uh, well, sorry, I tell a lie. It has been defended by one person. It's very well done. One heavy assault. And then they're working on the north generator. So, in a moment, the base is just going to become vulnerable by regular means. But due to the, the nature of the space. mercenaries still piling up their Sundras trying to gate diffuse through the shields, but it's not just working. It's, it's, it's not working at all, so they're just piling up. Now, I'm, I'm kind of a little weirded out by right here by the Rebel Rifles because they've got so much infantry in the actual amp station right now, which is still being secured by uh, by the shields and everything. And they're trying to capture not research amp behind the mercenaries back with two people. Why not just drop, you know, like one squad directly on their head to take the point so the mercenaries have to go back? Well, because of the gate defuse problems and everything's going wrong, they, they really... So rather than sending one or two people, here they come again. Really seeing. Here they come again. Yeah, they should be sending. They send like a, like a whole squad on oh, one of these shield Oh, so many tank mines again, and he gets taken down by the fury. Mercenaries now just sending in gate diffuser vehicles, trying to get through the shields and getting. Them I'd like to see mines. this rebel rifle sunder inside. Oh, the rebel point. rifles just dropped a galaxy. Just dropped a galaxy on not research app. Setting up spawn beacons too. Oh, okay. Well, it's it's totally plausible. Um, I, the three defenders are still here for Mercs. Uh, nope, nope they they're all down now. And with that, Good the job. battle goes back to not research. Good job, Rebel Rifles.
But then again, I mean, the mercenaries at this point, they were just like, let's throw as many gate diffuser vehicles at that shield as we can. Yeah. Like, they were focused on very, very different things. Well, the there. shields are not done. Um, can you charge a shield generator when and you... The shields are actually up. They probably just are not rendering for you. No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking about... Oh, the about... inner shield. The inner yeah, shield. Yeah, yes, shields. the inner shields. Yes, they're down. No, because if they repair them, right, because the previous base is under contention, that means they can't hack the generator, can they? Uh, exactly. That's a guess. I, I can't say definitively because I can't No, no, they, 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 really, they really can't. So Mercenaries right now is just sitting in Nord-Amp Station at point Waiting A, and the they're point. like... Yeah, they're just like, where are the defenders well, at? Well, the V-Terms are actually active. If they have an infiltrator, they can hack it, pull out their fresh thunder, and spawn on the inside. Um, now let's see what they've got trying to defend the base. Uh, are they pulling in? They've pulled us under. They're spawning now back in on the spawn room. It's Which they have to because all of the rebel rifles are at not research M and they've got a galaxy up in the air spawning. They've got three Wow, this tickets. is one ballsy medic from rebel rifles. He's not on the balcony where you would expect to be. He is right down there watching them come out the spawn room. Rebel rifles, they're coming back with almost everyone. I think they've kept one person behind the not amp station cat point and their entire platoon's now coming back. They're partially maxing up. They're smoking outside. Oh, that ballsy medic just died. Um... I tell you what, Rebel Rifles are doing a good job. They've got air dominance. Uh, yep. They're controlling the balconies. It's a good attack. And they also have this one guy with the Lasher who is pretty much a force multiplier yeah. of at least 10. Well, I tell you what, see this, um, the, the adjacent teleporter building. That's they're now pushing out. The door's actually blocked off. They have to run through this door section, which they're now doing through the teleport room. Nobody on the balcony to defend because it's a lovely killing point uh, from the balcony of the A capture point. Uh, now. They just go into the L building, so they're gonna go in the L building, they're gonna wrap around and take up the stairs. Yes, they are. Oh, come on, Rebel Rifles, you guys know where they're coming from. They're coming up the stairs. Where's that C4? C4 number one. They see it briefly. It's holding them off. Another C4 in the back. Is he gonna get anything? He's stalling for time. Two minutes. There's a good concert push. They need to push in. They need to not be held outside. Lovely engineer turret blocking. Oh, good engineer turret in the back corner as well. Excuse me if I'm not actually casting right now, but it seems I am caught in some kind of lag spike. So okay. Me, this is a little crazy right well, now. Well, there's good smoke. There's a lot of dead bodies. I think mer um, mercenaries, good push. They've, uh, I think they've got it. Like, because what we can tell is that there's a lot of smoke, but from the dead bodies, there's a lot of revive grenades going up, but the one unit that I see up all the time is Max's and their engineer backup. Yeah, that was a good type push. Now that's that's a I wouldn't call it a textbook attack, but I would say that whenever um, rebel rifles were attacking you, sometimes you get streams of ones and twos. But in that instance, we had Mercs as a tight group. Yes, it's maybe more of a risk from C4, but it totally worked because when they came in, the, the defenders were just overwhelmed. So rebel rifles are still dropping in with squad beacons that they've got, trying to contend the point. Uh, they still have limited air control, although there is a reaver from Mercs. Let's see that. I... Yes, it is um, Rebel Rifle's Liberator, but he's backed off quite a bit. The Mercs have got the point, they've got plenty of maxes, they've got the capture point, the base is going to be saved in about a minute and 15, and we have 3 minutes 45 left of the game. Check the map. Um, there are... There is a Sunderer for Charlie Squad and Alpha Squad of uh, Mercs, so I mean, theoretically, they could redeploy on them. Uh, we got couple of air, a little fight going on between the Tooth Scythes and one Reaver. I'll just watch this guy. How are you doing, okay, Klyka? I'm, I'm actually back in the game now, so uh, that was really, really weird. I just pretty much saw the entire game in Fast Forward. <laughs> well, okay, so we're watching one Reaver fight, two um, Scythes, but he's got ground lock on backup from uh, his guys on the ground. So now it's just uh, one Reaver on one Scythe, Scythe's already taken a lot from the missile, and he's been hunted down by the Reaver. He's got Rocket Breaker, so he's really just using his Nodes Cannon here, but he, he really wants to kill. I'm not sure He wants to kill, he needs oh, to kill. Oh, second Scythe is backing him up. It's still two and one. I think the Reaver's too far away for his ground support. First Scythe has Rocket Pods as well. I don't know what the second Scythe has got. We had a Rebel Rifle uh, Scythe just fly through the bridge. He's just, he's just flying. Through the bridge? Do you see that? He's just flying through the oh. bridge on his head. He's just... 
I, I don't yeah, know we just saw doing. that. We saw the end of that very briefly, just showing he off his that. skills. That was the second time. That was the second time. He I did think that. they just... realized that, um, you know, two minutes fifteen, we're not going to be doing anything. Yeah, yeah, they can't do anything anymore. That's true. So they're just kind of showing off their type skills now. They still got a couple of errors. Yep. Yep. There, that, get, there he goes again. Uh, yeah, he's just we're showing off. 13 points to zero for the mercenaries. Right, back to more interesting things. Um, capture point fully secured by uh, mercenaries. 50-50 um, contention as far as the population is concerned. Uh, although, I, as far as I can tell, I think rebel rifles are actually just coming in with nothing but squad beacons, which means they're going to be uh, max light. So uh, mercenaries are just going to have the uh, natural advantage. Yep. Well, the rebel rifles right now have about five people uh, directly on the rooftop of uh, point A at not research, but again, they're not really they're they're not really. It's going technically for it. um, one minute twenty from now. Uh, just letting you know, Tony. Uh, yeah. Uh, are mercs going to even try and get the capture point? Looks like. It doesn't look like it. I don't see well, them they're anywhere. On the point. They've got it. They've got the cap point. I tell you what, if you did season two rules, although it'd be defunct at this point, the fight would go on because they have the fight of the contention of the point. If well, the they fight go with that right rule. now, the point isn't contended though. It is That's though. The thing. It is at not amp station. Mercenaries are on oh, point. Not amp station. Is yeah. Not yeah. All right. Okay, so they just lost one of their sunders. I'm not sure how that got picked off. Oh right, it is actually at not amp station. Yeah, because the mercenaries and the rebel rifles actually had a lot of people still at. Not <laughs> oh, that was nice. That do that again. Oh, so you know how you had your uh, scythe flying under the bridge? Well, he flew through the V-shield underneath the walkway at the cap point and then out the other V-shield. <laughs> and he's, 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 he's just... just, just... Yoloing. <laughs> it's just like, look at me, Mom, I'm on TV. Okay. Back back to the actual capture point, though. All right, so rebel rifles, they've came in. There wasn't really that many infantry for mercenaries. No, and they've secured it, but with that, I mean, just before this is secured, the game is actually over, so... Yeah. Uh, well, we've got eight seconds, seven, six, five. So, yeah. uh, GG. Um, mercenaries win, was it 13-0? 13-0 uh, yeah, for that's time's the mercenaries, up. yes. And with that, the teams are telling each other, GG. GG. And we're going to have the broadcast in the game any second. Now, there it is. The match is over. Ceasefire. I think uh, mercenaries are in the chat. They're, they're all congratulating each other. But they were a bit annoyed, I suppose, at the... Uh, at the box, yes. At, they probably could have gotten this base and done a clean sweep if the gate diffuse had worked on the shield generator. Yeah, at least it would have been a strong contention. It very well, though, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. We're going to get our representatives for a post-match interview at um, Sky Station. Yeah, so gentlemen, River if you Sky could join Station. us around East River Sky Station, that'd be great. Yeah, and I guess no. with that, with the 13-0 uh, for the mercenaries, I guess uh, what we go away from with this is that it's not always air that wins you the game, but uh, it can certainly help. Yeah, if you let the enemy dictate the terms and dictate play on where they're strongest, uh, you do that at your own peril. Definitely. <laughs> I thought we saw some very interesting airplay here, actually, because in the previous games, air was always the thing that, you know, like, it was dealing with itself, and once one side was done dealing with the other, it would immediately go into ground support. While during this battle, it was actually more of air playing their own little game, and we saw very, very little ground support. I mean, we saw a little of the mercenaries in, like, the first half, we saw a little of the rebel rifles in the second half, but all in all, it was more like galaxy drops and the air taking care of itself. What we did saw, see, though, was some great infantry play from the mercenaries again. Very tight, super quick, and with devastatingly well-supported Maxis. And, you know, the occasional vehicle fight with... Well-placed lightnings, that was sure. They definitely well did their homework and where to put their vehicles when they had yep. them. And they well decided... And the use of battle thunderers, which I really enjoyed. Like, it was, it was an interesting could play. Have, could they, maybe they could maximize the effect. a little better. They could have employed that a little better, but I think that's an interesting tactic to take away. So yeah, with that, uh, what do you think? What is like your uh, your end review of this game? Oh, it was good. The 
Mercenaries dictated the terms. They decided to play. Well, if, if chat's wondering, mercenaries won 13 0. Uh, basically, mercenaries dictated the term of the battle. Uh, it didn't really feel as if at any given point they were under threat. Um, maybe bar like one or two, you know, small pushes uh, by uh, rebel rifles. Um, if we bring up the map in a sec. I mean, it, it was it was fairly, you know, uh, dominating attack because mercenaries might get one Sundra in uh, at these different points or Weimir Eastern Way Station as well. But even if you lost the spawns, because mercen uh, Rebel Rifles did a good job of, you know, picking off the vehicles, you know, their spawns and whatnot. But once mercenaries got a critical mass, you know, they got their infantry and crucially their maxes, it felt to me that there was nothing that Rebel Rifles could do in a, in a large squad on squad engagement. Felt that even if it was even numbers, or even if rebel rifles were slightly outnumbered, which I don't think they were as infantry on the ground, um, they always won the infantry fights time and again, consistently. They always won the infantry fights when they got their, you know, their core team in with maxes. The only time we saw mercenaries lose the infantry fight when they had a couple of guys there is when um, they didn't have their maxes, which is when the squad beacon dropped in on not a uh, research camp, you know, because that was one of the few bases that air doesn't really matter so much. And they got pushed out because Rebel Rifles had their maxes. So, um, yeah. So, uh, fr from the chat, we can tell that max play, mercenary's good. Uh, shield diffusing shields, you know, blocking, bad. S SOE, not good? Yeah, well, I'll just say, sh shield's bad. So, um, but I, I suppose the positive news is that for the Amherst lane, which will be next week um, in the upcoming match, uh, there are no shields at um, Chimney Rock. Uh, no, or at Skylands. Aren't. So I guess with that, uh, Klaika and Farah, your casters on Esamir, we're saying goodbye to this lane because in the next match we're going to es Emmerich. And from this game, 13-0, to zero, mercenaries against rebel rifles. We're taking away, as we already said, Max is good and gate diffusers that fuse you in front of the gate instead of through it. Very, very bad. My name is Klaika. Thank you very much. And with me, of course, was Farah. Yes, I was just letting Poison Al take over with his good friend Tony. Um, uh, let, let's keep it mutual, uh, Poison. We're just friends, <laughs> no kissing. Oh. That's a speed, such a sport sport. Well, all I can say is, smoke, Maxis, smoke, Maxis, smoke, Maxis, smoke, Maxis. I can't uh, belittle um, the Mercedes for doing that because my outfit does exactly the same thing and it works. It clearly works. Uh, they just stormed in. With maxes, with smoke, just took over, bish bash bosh, done. And top of the rifles is, I kept seeing them on their own, just one or two of them, just just run, running around. The mercenaries always in a group, always together. Yeah. So what do you What do you think, Tony? No, I I totally agree. I mean, I I always credit uh, mercenary with a great job with uh, their smoke. However, their cohesiveness is really what pulled them through on this game. Uh, you just see them pulling together on the points with with just one exception when they tried to rush not uh, rush not research camp uh, in the second half. I, at all other times, they were always together as a unit in their squads. Um, two engineers on every max looks like a kind of uh, rule for them. It's really impressive. I really, I'd love to play with them. I wish uh, my guys played uh, as uh, coherently as well. Yeah, that was beautiful. There, there was a max. There was an engineer right behind him, getting really close and personal. Uh, but with the rifles, <laughs> I would see maxes. On their own and say so maxis are extremely powerful maxis are game changers but hello there's an infantry out there i see you i see you but say i was saying before before i was rudely interrupted by that squelchy noise <laughs> maxis cannot work on their own they need support they are very slow they are vulnerable to explosion explosives such as rockets and c4 and as soon as they go down they need picking up almost immediately or they disappear uh, the rifles just let theirs just run around and get picked off. It's, yeah, uh, and it's, it's an incredible uh, waste of resources, unfortunately. And yes. In a game like this, you just can't afford to do that. So uh, not at all, I not totally at all. agree. Say, uh, Rook and Darcibius, are you guys about here? Yeah, we're here. Oh, I'm here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, come and join us. We're lonely. Yes, come stand next to us. Don't be shy. So I guess I'll start by uh, talking to you, Rook, about uh, how things went for you guys. Um, the first half, pretty much everything went by the book. 
One thing, though, uh, in the bio lab, uh, right at the end when you were taking down the SCU, they brought back the SCU generator, and uh, you guys, you know, just kept pouring rounds and rounds in, and they saved it at the last second. Other than that, everything in the first half looked like it went perfectly for you guys. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts about that? Yeah, I couldn't have asked for anything better in the first half, really. That thing with the SCU was really... I guess kind of a nail biter, and we were just like, well, just shoot anything through the shields, and it's just down to five seconds. Oh, they saved it. But other than that, it was really as smooth as could be. So, yeah, for I'm enough. Pretty, I mean, be happier. I, I honestly, I just, I thought that you guys had that. It was down to what, two or three seconds left. So, it was so close. Um, when it came to the second half, though, you guys had a bit of a slow going start. Any particular reason you felt like uh, the not research camp attack failed? You couldn't quite push out of geological for a while. Well, what stalled us at the start of second round was for one that quite a few of us crashed, especially quite a few of our air squad. I suppose it was the same for rebel rifles, but that really threw us a little bit off. So yep. the from caster that, cast it, as it, well. it evolved to to quite a bit more chaotic gameplay from then on out. So it was a little bit more back and forth and, you know, trying to rush for a point there and then just being a few seconds too late and having to go back and resecure because Rebel Rifles were dropping more and more people on our own base with the uh, beacons. So yeah, it was a lot more chaotic than the first one and it just devolved from just the start of this, I guess. And it just goes to show how, how well... Uh, how things can go if um, the start of a match isn't as well, orderly, as you'd usually hope for. It can get pretty hectic, and it was pretty hectic on TeamSpeak as well. Oh, fair enough. I'm sorry to hear that. I, I think we all understand the uh, difficulties and pain that come with uh, the game crashing, but uh, as we all know and love, SOE's working on it uh, as hard as they can, and they're rolling out fixes as quick as they can. In fact, um, uh, I'd like to thank them. They, they kind of reverted a patch today, so they, which enabled us to do the match tonight, which is really wonderful. Um, so That is very considerate. Yeah, it was very considerate. Unfortunately, one of the other bugs really plagued you guys. I gotta say, it really, just my heartstrings pulled for you when I saw you send at least six, at least six, I counted, gate shield diffusers at not um, amp station, and they all failed. I, what did yeah. you think about that? What, what was going on in TeamSpeak at that moment? Well, what can I say? I mean, obviously, kind of less left the match with a little bit of a sour taste because you know we we finally capped um uh, the the not outpost and then it was like this moment like where we had a chance to actually take the base because otherwise amp stations are just like the hardest bases to take so it was do do it now or it's not gonna happen in this match and we just all bumped into this stupid gate and no doing it in first person didn't help either tried that as well so we just had to get well like okay we have to just do it the old-fashioned way try taking down the generators and then again it was just down to a few seconds where we were about to take the point and then uh, rubber rifles again back hacked us on the other base so that was that so yeah it happens but of course it's pretty very well annoying yeah very well i i mean it it just happens i think you're right you know, before uh, we leave it, I got to say, it's a damn shame that that happened. But um, I, I just got to praise you guys on your use of smoke. Um, I know Poison Al over here says that okay. uh, those guys use smoke all the time. But I have never in game faced anything quite as confrontational as that. The way that you guys use it in attack and defense. The way that you put it up on a point when you've got about 15 seconds left. So they just don't know what's going on. Uh, I think it's really impressive. Uh, so I just need to praise you. Smoke for you guys is like an art form. Well done. And uh, I just Thank need you very to ask. much. Yeah, yeah, of course. And uh, any thoughts on the second half, uh, the end of the game, the whole thing for you? Uh, what are your parting feelings? Well, parting feelings definitely is a big up to Weber Rifles because, like I said, the supposed underdog did put up a really good fight, and especially in the second half, you know, even the first round wasn't really without breaking a sweat. I got killed by explosives and shotguns a lot in the first round. And then in the second, it was uh, even tougher. And, you know, the end result may not reflect it, but it was a very well fought fight. And what can I say? It was obviously fun for us because we come out as the victors in this, as many would have expected. And I know many of my uh, call this a steamroll, as we've seen quite a few others in the community clash. But let me say that it was a hard fight. 
Oh, it's good to hear. And uh, one last thing is, do you guys have any kind of uh, Twitter feed or website that you want to pimp before you leave for recruitment purposes and, and notoriety, all that? Well, let me all tap to check. All right. <laughs> Well, how about Take we well, get back to that yeah, a little bit? The website bit. is oh. obviously mercenaries.co.uk, which is just basically the forums, which is our main hub of communications. Uh, we do have a Twitter feed as well, which we don't really use that much for, for any you know like outside sources, as far as I'm aware, and I can't actually tell you the, the Twitter thing, but you'll probably find us just to look for mercenaries with an IS in the end. That's just our trademark typo. Nobody mistypes <laughs> the word like we do, so you should always find us with searching for that. Well, fair enough. And uh, you guys are going to get to um, pimp that again once you find it in the next round in the uh, fin the EU finals. So, uh, no worries. And uh, after that, I'll hand it off to Poison Al. You take it away. Oh, oh, you're done. Oh, okay, fine. Thank you. <laughs> right, blue, mate. What happened? Um, what happened? yeah. Uh, so. Hats off to the mercenaries, man. They, those guys, uh, they definitely know what they're doing. Um, I think their game against Indy next week is going to be very, very interesting. Um, Ooh, but yeah, very. from our side, um, so first half, we uh, we lost our air way quicker than we thought we would do. Um, like, very quickly. Um, which kind of throws on the back foot uh, almost immediately. Uh, we did have... We were actually just massing to push towards the other base, and we got kind of stumped on, the, on that, and then you just playing defensive all the way back. Uh, it's very hard to counter-attack when they've got forward momentum. Um, Boom. Yeah, so... Yeah, that, I fully, fully understand. And I think we've all learned something tonight in regards to NC normally say they're the king of the... Bi NC Max normally the king of the biolab. Uh, I'd hate to see any TR try and defend the pr uh, Pounder from now on, because that <laughs> thing absolutely ruined everything we threw at it. Um, oh, is it, I even I will admit the pounders are very good uh, anti max uh, weaponry. They're very, very good. But then again, so is the Falcon. Mm. That is also were your maxes pencil. running with flak armor of curiosity? Um, some of them were. Some of them were running um, kinetic, I believe. Mm. But I think There's flak a... only flak only deals doesn't deal against direct damage. I'm not sure. I'll have to check that. But anyway, yeah. The... So that was kind of that one. Um, second half. Um, I, I'm gonna. Say so what Brooke said. Um, I think throughout that game, you know, I don't think there was one member on our team that actually didn't crash. Um, and we would drop in, drop pods in, and they'd hit geometry and actually ascend to the heavens, which was kind of annoying. Um, <laughs> I, I oh, crashed right at the beginning of the second half, so you know, I mean, these things happen. Um, and not to take that away from mercenaries, mercenaries victory at all. You know, they they won it fair and square, and uh, they're a very very good outfit as we as we found out. But you know, I'd, I'd just like to say, you know, in the confusion of that second half, um, I think our guys pulled it together and we did some pretty good pushes. Uh, the Sunderer push was actually something we had planned. It didn't go off, pay off the way we thought it would do. We didn't have enough. Um, but yeah, that's definitely something maybe outfits want to look at in the future. And in regards to the smoke and the max. Uh, push, um, you you wouldn't be surprised. Or you'd be surprised how effective uh, crossbow centered arts are at picking that stuff up. Oh yes, yeah, so as a infiltrator main, I have darts. I have motion sensors down all the time for such an eventuality. Words yeah. hard, and of course everyone runs night vision these days. Uh, if you, you're in a, inside, uh, yeah. so I, I did berate you for. Uh, scattering quite a few times. Unfortunately, using observer cam does mean that you do get a one-sided view. Was there any reason why I was seeing Maxes on their own? Were there, were there? Um, we call them butlers, but was there, uh, your in engineers being picked off, or were they just running out one by one? It was. Uh, it was a bit of both, really. Um, there were times where, because people were crashing, we kind of had to rearrange some of the. What the squads were doing normally we'd kind of run maybe a squad of maxes and then engineers and all that um yeah it was kind of a bit of both it was very hectic so you know it it happens man you know it happens credit to the mercenaries they mm -hmm. they were controlled and uh they had like you said two engineers and a max is is a nightmare to take down um it, there were certain times where we went full on max just to try and clear that point out um 
but you know, obviously it didn't work. So. Oh, so I've been a bit hard on you guys, but there were some <laughs> really, really good moments, like the very last second save of the SCU. That was in absolutely mm. fantastic to watch, and just that—that that was like yeah, Michael Bay movie type stuff. <laughs> that was be- <laughs> that was beautiful. That was a beautiful, beautiful move. Unfortunately, you couldn't uh, get it the second time, but that yeah. was really, really fun to watch. You say you, even though the mercenaries got a clear win it was still an entertaining match to watch for those moments uh yeah we, say, we say, enjoyed it man we enjoyed it you know, yeah i just to say thank you i hope to see you back next season because yeah, um sure. guess what we're playing next time as well yeah we'll be having yeah. you oh. yeah we'll, we'll have you we'll have you <laughs> we'll have you yeah just so, to uh, say guys uh <laughs> mercenaries thanks again for playing us it was uh it was a pleasure yeah, and one last thing: Do you want to pimp your outfit, your website? Uh, yeah, I mean, if anyone, mm-hmm. if uh, anyone's on Woodman NC and uh, I'd like to join an outfit, or anyone's thinking about joining Planet Side, um, with Rebel Rifles, uh, our website's uh, easy-gaming.co.uk, um, or come in game and uh, grab one of us. We normally run public uh, squads and that, so you'll see us in game. Right. So next week, it's any elite. Versus Mercenary X. X? S. <laughs> I didn't learn my alphabet at school. That's okay. You can tell. And hey, before Mercenary we X. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, because uh, we'll, that'll be next week. Hopefully, yep. the server will be able to hold Miller's ego. Yes, I'm looking at you, chat. So, uh, one last thing leave, to do. We need to thank uh, all the people watching. First of all, we need to also thank mercenary and rebel rifles really appreciate you guys putting together your teams and joining us here you guys did a great job we really appreciate it also tony the friendly floating max from proceben he stays here till 11 p.m at work for us the community and he does a great job he's the nicest guy uh thank you so much tony also casters Farah and Klaika, they're beautiful velvety voices you know you them you love them you come every week for them and last and not least is coordinator Padawan Ichi, Padawan Chichi, sorry, I've done that too many times before. Padawan Just Chichi Pad. gets every, <laughs> yeah, Pad. Pad gets everybody together for us and coordinates, and he does a great job of it. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to visit our fantastic website at ps2comclash.com. With a big thanks to Steel Dragon from Innie for that. Uh, he's put a lot of hard work into that and a lot of little bumpers that you see in the middle of our show. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at PS2ComClash. And for you late owls, uh, stay up for the U.S. match. It starts at 8 p.m. CST. We've got Sturm Grenadier versus No Nonsense Gamers. Get in touch. We're always looking for more participants for next season. And uh, with that, I give it over to you, Poison Owl. Well, I think it's the only thing left to do is for the victor to shoot the loser. I'd get out of the way. Not me. Jerk. <laughs> oh God! Do you see what I have to work with here? Seriously. Oh well. I hope to see you all again next time, my lovely viewers. You smell nice. Love you too. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, obligatory Miller Server Master Race. Goodbye, guys. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Take care. <laughs>